What's good, tribe? It's energy. I'm back with another reading. Today's reading, I'm going to be looking at all 12 zodiac signs for the year of 2024. So it's been a minute since I've done a zodiac reading, but I'm really excited because over the past few years, I've really been able to understand more about how your zodiac placement has a lot to do with your personality. So this is something I've been saying a lot lately. Your zodiac sign actually belongs to your ego, yourself. And this is why many people don't all resonate. So all Capricorns or all Aries will not always resonate when it comes to personalities and traits because Zodiac is just one way to uncover information. And that's because for it to resonate with all, it would have to come from a spiritual place. And we know that we all resonate with love. We all resonate with freedom, peace, bliss, and this is something that we all truly desire. So when it comes to your zodiac sign, it's true that it's really just a characteristic trait of yourself, of your ego, your identity here on earth. So in today's reading, I'm going to be looking at your zodiac placement, but also pulling tarot cards, oracle cards, and just pulling messages from the universe in regards to 2024. For a collective message, I am very certain that in 2024, we are going to see a lot of what looks like disarray may even be chaos, um, disharmony. And that is because 2024 is representing the four of wands. So after channeling a message for the overall year and what to expect for all, for all picked up the four of wands and the four represents harmony, unity, coming together, uh, finding union with twin flames. So a lot of people are gonna be coming into union, all right, um, marriage. And with that being said, we will also be seeing a lot in the media of the opposite of that. And that is because the universe is using the media to uncover what is going on in the world that is not in harmony, that is not in union, that is not in peace, and that is not in love. And so it may appear that things are falling apart Things are coming apart, and that is because things are falling into place. And that's a collective message I'm picking up for everyone in 2024. Four of Wands, it's about time you come into harmony with your tribe, with your community, um, marriage, love, partners, soulmates, tribe, harmony with your job, your career, your dream career. Um, so there's a lot of harmony, a lot of unity. Four represents four, four legs. So we, on a table, we think of stability with four legs. So a lot is going to be happening in 2024, and I'm just going to be here as a channel guide to pull these messages from the universe and what you can expect based on your zodiac sign for the year of 2024. If you guys are looking for any one-on-one -on -one personal readings or rare readings, you guys can find that down below in the description or check out the border down below also for all of my socials. All right, I'm gonna jump right into today's reading and see what's on the board for you guys for 2024, what to expect. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. If you guys are here, 2024 is gonna have some really great things in store. So definitely follow me on all platforms if you're here. Just stay connected, just stay connected. All right, let's jump into the reading. First up, Capricorn. Shout out to Capricorns. As you guys know, I am a son Capricorn. Um, also leadership Capricorns end the year and start the year. So there's a lot of leadership here. The first thing that I was picking up from the channeled card that I was pulling for you guys is that you may be entering 2024 solo, or maybe just not with as many people as you thought, because with this, I'm feeling that there's this subtle making it to the victory line, but just there's a coldness around you. So I want to see what the theme is for you. 2024 Capricorns, if they're here, what is the theme? One card. You can't go back to yesterday. Okay, yeah. So there's some things in the past that you are letting go of in 2024. Be in the present. So you're being asked to be in the present. So yeah, it may feel bittersweet, this victory. I hear that you're coming into a victory in 2024, and it may feel bittersweet because there are some people that maybe you thought were coming with you. There were some things that you thought was going to be different, but we have four, four. So that just tells me once again, you're aligned with 2024, some big things happening. So let's get into your tarot for Capricorn. Three cards for Capricorn. What can they expect in 2024? Year 2024? Thank you. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so you guys can have Sag in your moon or Sag in your rising. You don't have to. This is just 
Again, more information about what you can expect. Capricorn 2024, what can they expect? All right. So I see, it's interesting because I took this six of wands off of my TV because I usually have it up here on my monitor just because I liked it and something told me, okay, use it for this reading. So six of wands to come out, once again, victory, triumph, okay? Now, you may not see this going into 2024 is what I'm getting. You may not see this coming into 2024, but we do have a lot happening here, all right? We have a lot happening here. So we have a new relationship, 10 of cups, you coming out of hermit mode. We have Virgo energy on the board. You're no longer going to be worried about your finances is what I'm hearing. There's something about really enjoying life in 2024. You're going to be more than stable. We have a lot of force here. So you are evolving past the 3D. You have a huge spiritual reconciliation with yourself. I'm also getting a reconciliation with a person in 2024. Okay, this is a very significant connection, the Ten of Cups. There's a lot of fulfillment here with the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning in your emotional well-being. I'm also hearing family. Family is going to be a really big deal in 2024. I'm feeling that you may be attracting more people into your family or just connecting with more people who feel like your family. So I'm seeing you come out of rest mode. You could have been in hermit mode uh, for the past couple of years is what I'm getting. You could have been in, you could still be in hermit mode, but in 2024, you're coming out of hermit mode and celebrating. There's something about celebrating. I want to get why the nine of pentacles in, is in reverse. Okay, there's something about your independence, financial independence. Why is the nine of pentacles in reverse? Thank you, the sun. Okay, so don't worry about your financial independence. Happy outcome is here. We have brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Okay, so this is about a spiritual awakening with discovering who you truly are, who your authentic version of you is, what really brings you joy and happiness. You're coming into reconciliation with people. Lots of people in 2024 is what I'm getting, especially with the kids here and the connection, but we also have love. So we're going to clarify why that is here. But before we get into that, I want to also just take note of you coming out of rest mode. I'm hearing there's nothing more to think about. There's nothing more to strategize except for jumping into the winds of change and allowing it to carry you is what I'm hearing. So really being open to what feels good rather than what sounds like a good decision. So I'm also seeing Capricorn that you will have a lot of new ideas, brilliant new ideas that are coming in in 2024 that are leading you to success. The universe wants you to have confidence in yourself. Let's see what your higher self wants you to know here. I see that you're releasing something that you've been holding on to for some time when it comes to maybe depending on the financial part of it. And I see that you're walking right into victory. What do you want Capricorn to know for 2024? You need nothing. Exactly. You need nothing. So you don't need any more strategizing, any more thinking, any more contemplating is what I'm getting. In 2024, it's more of acting and feeling the results of your actions. So acting by taking leaps into success, leaps into your ideas, taking a chance on your ideas, sharing your ideas with others. Okay, so there is a reveal that's going to be happening, a revealing of your true self. I'm also getting that you could be an earth angel. We have the wings here. Discovering who you truly are and what you're meant to do. 2024 is bringing you harmony with who you truly are. You will not have to continue to discover and look further. You will know in 2024 is what I'm getting. So there's nothing to go back to. There's nothing in the past for you. It is all here and now, and it's going to happen at any moment. So let's also see clarity on why is the Ace of Cups here. 
Okay, we have a nine of fire, a sudden event that needs immediate change. Time is of the essence. So someone is coming in. There's a lot of passion here. There's also a lot of traveling. I'm seeing you travel. I'm seeing you travel being led through your passions. It's not based on strategy, Capricorn. It's not a logical, practical decision. All right, so I know that you've been playing it safe is what I'm hearing but you're gonna be expanding. And in, in this, in 2023, you could have been expanding a lot, expanding and believing that you can achieve more, that you can obtain more, that you can obtain more freedom without having to work as hard, that you can focus on fun and exploration, which is the purpose of being here. So there's more to just work, okay? There's more to just work and stability. I see that there's an emotional fulfillment and excitement coming in and also victory and success. You have victory and success written all over 2024 for you. And it's coming through an awakening of self, seeing yourself entirely for who you truly are. The dreamer, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So once again, I see justice coming in for you, Capricorn, in the year of 2024, when you take a leap towards your dreams. And this is where the confidence comes in, confidence of what? Knowing who you truly are. That's where true confidence comes from. Knowing who you truly are. When you know who you are, you don't have to have confidence. It just kind of comes with it, okay? It's a certainty of self is what I'm hearing. 2024, certainty of self leads you to victory, life partnerships, soulmate friendships, community, rest, okay? More resting, not having to worry about practical manners and you don't need anything to make this happen. Ideas are gonna be flowing to you. I'm hearing you're gonna be a channeler of ideas in the year of 2024 if you are here, Capricorn. Why is the Four of Swords here in reverse? It's, yeah, it's, I'm getting the Hermit in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse. It's time to come out of Hermit mode. It's time to come out of Hermit mode. So there's a lot more socializing in the year of 2024. So let's get, why is the Hermit? and Four of Swords in reverse. You got all major arcanas coming through here. Life experience, a significant life change. So this is the tower, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. 2024, you have been going Capricorn through a huge transformation starting from, could it even be 2019? 2020, 21, 22, 23, your expansive year, all was preparing you for what is coming in 2024. There is a life experience and a sudden event and a change in event that's going to happen that you're not going to see. I'm hearing it's going to come out of nowhere. The only thing that they're asking you to do is not to look back because you will not see it coming. That's a big message here. If you're looking back, you will not see your blessings arriving or coming. So that's why it's time to move forward. And going into this new year, it seems like there is, once again, being you could have been in isolation for some time or just to yourself. Okay, let's see why this is. Yeah, let's go ahead and clarify. Yeah, we have four of air, time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision, okay? So there's something about resting, all right? So I feel like you're gonna be well-rested for this year is what I'm getting, well-rested, all right? And then our last card to clarify, we have the night of water, falling in love. So Capricorn, expect to fall in love in 2024. It says, or a wedding proposal, the need to balance your emotions, an invitation to a social event. Once again, I just said that. So there is a lot of socializing that is here for you, uh, a lot of meeting new people. I'm seeing very significant faces, could be two or three people. I'm also seeing that you taking a leap towards your dreams is going to pay off in 2024. It is you taking a leap into your dreams that is attracting everything for you in this year. So you have major arcana shifts. This is a major year for you in the terms of significant success. The wheel is turned in your favor is what I'm hearing. Significant success. All right, let's see what else you can expect. Let's get three cards for Capricorn. Three cards are here. Interesting. I'll take them. 
What can you expect? Splendor. So it's going to be very delightful. So right now, and even more so in these prior years, you've been getting comfortable with just receiving without having to doing so having to do so much. So there is a lot of amazing opportunities. You're meant to feel good all of 2024 is what I'm getting. You are meant to feel significantly well. So splendor is just euphoria. Everything is working in your favor. Okay. You have emotional romantic connections coming in. You have brilliant ideas that are leading you to success and victory for a chance of fulfillment. You also have surrender and decision. Okay. So you have surrender and decision. Let's look at why decision is here. What is this decision about for Capricorn in 2024? I believe it's the old version of you or the new version of you. You are becoming one with yourself. You're becoming whole with yourself. Okay. So why is decision here for Capricorn in 2024? Queen of Cups, water, tender heart and empathetic, passion, patient and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. So there's a lot of emotional love and fulfillment coming in. This is nothing practical. See, you may have been focused on your earthly matters since you are an earth sign for most of your life. And I just see the biggest transition and transformation is to opening up your heart and feeling more. And so there is someone who is strongly in your presence. Okay. 2024 is strongly in your presence and you have a decision to make. I believe you're going to have a couple of people is what I'm getting in your presence. One is the queen of cups, queen of water. Okay. So this is, it could be a male or a female. It doesn't matter. This is going to be someone who leads with their heart. They lead with their heart. You can feel their heart. You can feel them. It's, it's a very warm-hearted relationship that I'm getting. And we have a lot of romantic nostalgia that is going to be coming to you in 2024 as well, especially in your love life. Let's get some advice for you in 2024. Advice for Capricorn. Thank you. For 2024 advice. Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. So Capricorn, your heart is very important because it's your compass. It's your guide in this next chapter of your life. It is what's going to lead you when you are following your dreams. So it's very important that you can feel that, it, that, that you're connected to your heart and your feelings. So we do have someone opening up your heart and we have heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. So in 2024, you have a lot of people surrounding you. And it could be because of your success, even with the Six of Wands, people are watching you in victory, celebrating you. I'm hearing awards, promotions. Okay, once again, whatever victory is to you, I'm hearing just being your authentic self is victory. It says, be extra aware of your knowing. So you have a very heightened sense of intuition that you're going to be experiencing also in the year of 2024. So what I'm getting for you, Capricorn, overall is that you have a few decisions to make in love. And your relationship seem to be a very important thing that must be balanced in choosing yourself. You've already kind of mastered that with 2022 and, and even 2023. That may have been a final year of you just releasing. And so with that being said, you are attracting more people who are coming from a place of love, who are very empathetic and who lead with their heart. So these are soulmate connections, soul connections in general. And once again, I just see celebration, family, being surrounded by people who love and support you and most importantly, see you. So if you guys are a Capricorn, this is your overall message. I'm gonna leave you with a message from your future self and what you must know for 2024, Capricorn, before we leave. I am preparing you for your life partner. That's, it's, it's insane. I am preparing your life partner. Expect a gift within 30 days. So some of you have a gift coming in 30 days. It could be this person, okay? Either way, I'm seeing that spirit is sending in help. 
Okay, so this could be help with their business. This could be, yeah, definitely, I'm hearing some of you help with your business assistants, people who see your vision, they're just, they see it, they're on board with it. Uh, it it's, there, it's like you're learning how to live life without material resources or understanding, yes, that's important, and that will be easily obtained for you in 2024, but there's priceless things that you cannot pay for that you are attracting in 2024. These are connections, real deep, profound connections. So if you guys are a Capricorn, shout out to the goats. You already know. Um, I'm going to move on to Aquarius to see what Aquarius has for 2024. In the meantime, catch me on IG at its energy. All right, let's get into Aquarius. All right, next up is Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what your theme is for 2024. What is the overall theme for Aquarius? Overall theme. All right, overall theme for Aquarius. Aquarius, what is the overall theme? You have managed to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that you are going to be experiencing a lot of choosing yourself, okay? This may be something that you are still learning in 2024, Aquarius, is to choose yourself. And I say that because create your own happiness regardless of the conditions, all right? So you are going to be moving past limitations, limited beliefs in 2024, believing that you can do it regardless of what it looks like. Okay, let's see what your three cards are. Aquarius 2024, what can they expect? What can they expect, Aquarius? We have Page of Swords, we have Strength, Leo Energy. Okay, yeah, it's definitely walking away. Walking away from many, many things that are long overdue. Okay, having the strength and courage. You have a lot of strength and courage with you. Okay, by your side, there's something about, I don't want to say protecting your happiness, but really just having more boundaries. And even boundaries don't have to be harshly placed. You set the boundary based on how you allow people to treat you. There's something about people and moving away here with the Eight of Cups, away from um, the wrong people here with the Queen of Swords, okay? And moving towards more of your emotional state, really getting connected more with your emotions here because I feel like you're in your head mostly here with the Page of Swords. Let's get one more card here for the Page of Swords, okay? Nine of Cups, yeah, and I see that what's coming in is emotional, okay? It's an emotional fulfillment. It is not something mentally that is a stimulating thing that you are attracting, if that makes sense. So it's like spirit wants you to get more into your heart space in 2024. So what I see is a wish come true, nine of cups, justice, something is going to be happening in your favor. Could be the court system, could be the judicial system, could be I'm hearing custody, um, could be child support, could be getting married. Some of you guys could be getting married. So something significant is going to be taking place in this year, but it's because you chose yourself. You chose yourself and choosing yourself is creating your own happiness. So you will have many options here, but with the nine of cups, I'm seeing something significant is going to be standing out to you. So having the strength to get through, maybe it's the beginning. Okay. Let's just clarify why these cards are here. Why do we have the eight of cups? What are they walking towards or away from? You are walking towards the Ten of Cups. So you're walking away from the Eight of Cups, okay? And walking towards the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups would mean fulfillment. Nine would be contentment. You have eight, nine, ten. So you're walking right to your Ten of Cups. And it says a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships, Okay, so you guys could definitely have Capricorn heavy in your chart. You don't have to, but I definitely am getting some similarities here. We have the 10 of water. And what else are you walking towards? We have a king of water. So again, Capricorn had the queen of water. So that could be a significant 
uh, message for you. It doesn't have to be, but it is definitely here. So Aquarius, you are moving towards somebody. You will have to use your own discernment and tell me if you're already with this person or not, because we have the eight of cups, eight of cups and the five of cups is usually my breakup cards uh, or my regretful breakup cards. It's not that you want to, I'm feeling you don't want to make some of these decisions in 24, but it's necessary. With the four of wands, again, being the overall theme for what I'm picking up for 2024, you're looking for harmony. You're looking for a contented and fulfilling family life. And so if you're not feeling that now or have not been, I'm seeing you walking away from whatever it is that wasn't bringing you that, moving towards what is, and I do see a king of water. It says, open your heart and mind to those around you. And I said, open your heart her earlier. Remember I said, open your heart for, or find some heart space. Now is not the time to be in your head in 2024. It is going to really be playing with on your emotional strings. So this isn't something you can outthink yourself, Aquarius. You're such a great wizard, very, very wise, but thinking is just one tool, one tool. And what you're after here is a wish come true, which is a miracle. And it, miracles don't come from strategy and analyzing or science. A miracle just happens when you surrender and let go. But what you're doing is you're attracting a family lifestyle and someone who is trustworthy, compassionate, and very respected. If you are single or if you're walking away from something, this is just confirmation that you're walking towards the four of wands, which is marriage with the justice card, a wish come true, okay? It's, it's like you're getting out of this energy, this page of swords, this strength. And what was this energy? Page of fire, news of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity, outgoing, creative, confident, and mischievous. Whoa, my ear just started ringing. Okay, let's see. What is this about? To a fire, you've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So yeah, you're moving away from contracts or places, people that just no longer suit you. They are not in alignment with you feeling good. And spirit is saying, be happy regardless of the conditions of what it looks like. So it may seem like the odds are not in your favor in 2024. This is not the truth. The truth is, is that the odds are in your favor, nine of cups in justice. And all you have to do is continue to move forward towards what it is that you desire and the universe will deliver. Okay, so I'm seeing you're coming out of your page of swords, swords representing everything mental, which is why we do Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for our swords. So this is everything mental. You're moving out of this place to the page of fire. So the page of wands, which is more fire in your chart. So that's probably why we have the Leo here, more confidence, more outgoingness, um, more creativeness, more of your passions, what feels good rather than outthinking the system, okay? You're trying to think your way through things. And in 2024, I see that the shift is happening because you're shifting into your page of fire. So it's still a very youthful energy. There's something about still you don't have to grow up. You don't have to compromise your happiness. This is something too that you're gonna learn in 2024 and you speaking up. You don't have to compromise your happiness. Meaning do this, do this, do this, and then I'll be happy. That is compromising. Okay, you have a wish come true here, and it's very, and we even have, look at this at the bottom of your deck. Help is nearby, I got your back. 2024, harmony with you and God. You and higher self. You in the universe. Harmony with one so that you can trust that your guidance is leading you in the right direction and showing you the right discernment so you're not overthinking your discernment. And also another thing that's good for you to know, Aquarius, is that your intuition and the right decisions will come from your very first instinct. You will not have to overthink to getting an answer. With the universe, it's always 
sudden. It's, it's, it's so sudden that we miss it. It's very sudden. If I ask you a question, it comes very suddenly. It's only your mind thinking about it. You don't have to think about if you prefer to feel happy or sad. If I say, do you prefer to feel happy or sad? Do you need to think about that? Or can you just feel that happy feels better? And I don't know why it feels better, but I'm just going to trust that and go with why this over here feels better. So you are going to be provoked and strengthening. I would say challenge, but I don't want to even say that. It's not a lesson. It's not a challenge. It is just for you to grow and to use other tools. And so you might often find yourself in situations where it's provoking you to have to use your intuition and not your mind, like love. Okay, so I'm seeing you meet someone very significant in 2024 as well. King of water, you're, you're moving right towards that. Higher self, what do you have to say to Aquarius for 2024? Help is nearby. I got your back. It just came out again. Your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment. So if you want to strategize and figure things out, because you guys are very gifted, you're very gifted with your intellect and your brilliance. And so use that to use that to connect with your intuition, but more so your imagination. You're so great at this. And so what there is to figure out is what are your dreams and desires? That's the only thing, and that's not even something to figure out. It's more of a fun discovery. So spirit is saying help is nearby in 2024, and spirit has your back. Okay, what can you expect, Aquarius, in 2024? Courage. Once again, we have the strength here. So courage. Courage to do what? We have the courage to relax and sit your down and let the universe come in and help you. You're not meant to do it by yourself is what I'm hearing. Okay, you're not meant to do it by yourself. Let's get some overall guidance. Overall guidance from the universe to Aquarius for 2024. Ceremonies and celebrations. So you also have ceremonies and celebrations. I'm not sure how this card got in here, but it, it must be for a reason. That's another thing. Don't overlook your signs. I'm not going to put this card back because there's no way out of the chances that this one snuck into this deck and also came out on your reading. So I'm trusting the signs and I know that that's something that's important. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. So a lot is happening. Once again, 2024, four, four of wands is weddings, ceremonies, anniversaries. And that's what we were getting with justice. So there is going to be a lot of love around you. And I believe spirit is allowing that to inspire you. We also have control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may control you. Okay, so you are letting go of some of these fears maybe that are self-sabotaging some of your dreams and desires from coming into fruition. And it's really about, I'm just seeing the universe wanting to give you so much and you're just tripping over your own shoelaces a bit. That's what this has been um, the years leading up until 2024. And so that's why spirit is saying to get out of your head and to get into your heart with the king of water and the 10 of water. Let's see why that is. We have the eight of water also peeking through control issues. So some of these things are creating fears from you going to having the courage to go towards your dreams and your desires. Last card for what they can expect in 2024 Aquarius. The world, a job well done, joy, contentment and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. Okay, so you've made it is what I'm hearing, Aquarius. You've made it. You've walked away from those people that you needed to walk away from, the places that you wanted to walk away from that didn't feel good. And as you continue to attune and align yourself, you're moving towards enlightenment. Okay, so you're moving towards making this the best life that you can live. Living your most exciting dream is what you're here to do. So you happen to get this card. It says the customer is always right, especially when hungry. Baked chips feed blue chips. Never sugarcoat a need for change. So this could be in this could be a business. You could get into a business. This is confirmation if you're an Aquarius and you're into 
food or anything that you put in your mouth. Let's just say that, okay? Anything you put in your mouth, if you have a business or you work around anything of that nature, I see that you are getting closer, again, your heart so you can have empathy to connect with people, to know what to share when it comes to your product so people connect with you and feel that you're authentic and feel that you're compassionate and feel that you want to help them. So it's not always about strategy and posting at the right time and doing all of these things for those of you who are content creators because they're leading me down that path. So in, in, I'm getting the overall theme is instead of being at war with yourself, be at one with yourself. At war just is like going back and forth, going back and forth. I don't know what it is. It's like there's no peace there. And I see that's what's coming to you. Peace being restored, joy being restored, contentment, not being so hard on yourself. Enlightenment is above and beyond your mindset. People say good mindset. We're going beyond mindset. We're talking imagination and you having comfortability of knowing it's already working out in your favor. So what are you doing running around with a chicken with your head cut off is what the teachers used to say. Let the universe help you 2024. This is what's uncovering for you. So be open to receive all of this goodness that is coming. And the goodness that is coming is your own personal happiness, something that you've yet to experience. And there's depth to it. You may have thought but there is depth to more joy and contentment in 2024. So I am now going to move on to Pisces. What's good, Pisces? If you are here, we are going to be asking the universe what you can expect for the year of 2024. Pisces 2024. What is the theme for Pisces? I want to be a queen, okay? So having more desires, I believe 2023 expanded some of the things that maybe you didn't think you wanted, expanded you in desiring more. So you are going to be desiring. See, before you may have been content with what you had, and now I'm just seeing that you're desiring to receive more. And I believe this is coming from some type of spiritual awakening that you've experienced of being able to see yourself. And you being able to see yourself, obviously, as a queen, as a king, someone of sovereignty, someone of royalty. Not because you're better than. See, there's a lot of guilt underneath you feeling good about you, all right? You're letting go of all of this, declaring freedom, passing a test, stating your sovereignty, there you go. I didn't even know sovereign was on the, the card, but yes, stating your sovereignty, 33, speaking up, speaking up about what it is that you desire and not feeling bad about that, okay? Because you have desires. You are here to obtain your desires. So let's see. Pisces 2024, what can they expect? Whoa. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Pisces. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Pisces 2024, what can they expect? 2024, Pisces. We also have this card peeking throughout the bottom, and I think it's very significant. We also have your life is meant to be an exciting mystery. One more card from future self. Okay, your future self really wants to talk to you. I feel like your higher self really wants to communicate with you. If you're here, if you're a Pisces, I do believe that higher self wants to communicate with you. You are the author of your life story. Spirit wants you to know that you have the power. I see a new profound perspective with the Ace of Swords here. You seeing things completely differently than you've ever seen them before. You are the author of your life story. You're writing your life story. You have that much power. And your life is meant to be an exciting mystery. Okay, so it's not meant to be a struggle. These are things that you're coming into revealing that you don't want to struggle. 
that you do want to be happy, that you do want to be free. The answers lie within your desire. So this is why I said your desires are very important. You shouldn't be ashamed of what you want in life. It doesn't matter how big it may seem. Okay, so you're getting rid of shame and guilt. These are the two lowest frequencies of vibration when you look at the alpha omega energy chart. Enlightenment being at the top. We have joy, happiness, all of these at the very top. And at the very, very bottom, we have shame and guilt. These are the lowest frequencies. So you deserve what you are asking for. And this is about you receiving that in 2024. It's about receiving what you deserve. And if you don't feel like you deserve more, then if you're wondering why things are falling short, it's for some reason that feeling that you are transmuting of feeling bad about wanting more or, or feeling bad about choosing you, okay? And I, I don't know why I'm getting a lot of that energy, but that's what I'm getting here. So we have the Queen of Cups. I want to see why else. Let's get one more card here for the Emperor in Reverse. Okay, we have the six of cups. I also feel like when it comes to your love life with the six of cups here, there is some type of reminiscing, some type of vision that spirit is going to be giving you, whether it's in, it could be in film, it could be in music, it could be something you see in the streets, something you see at the mall. There's going to be a lot of flashes of what it is that you desire. And it's like in 2024, Spirit is saying to pay attention to those feelings of excitement that come to you. These are the clues of what your soul desires to do. Even if it's a love story, it's something you desire to experience. There's a reason why your soul is ignited. So this is about trusting. 2024 is about trusting in your feelings and trusting what you feel. So what can you expect? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Why do we have the queen of cups? We have ego at the bottom, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So this is something I believe that you are getting rid of. This is also Capricorn energy here. So with the ego, that's why I said at the very beginning, zodiac signs belong to our ego, our self, because it has to do with our body, not our spirit. Our spirit is just the essence of life. It has no title, no label. It is just the pure essence of life. And inside of this vessel who's born on a date, then it has a, a zodiac sign. So your ego, yourself, there is something about becoming your own best friend, loving yourself, becoming your own best friend, okay, and releasing the mask, okay? He's wearing a mask here, a false sense of self. Who, ha who you've had to become for others is what I'm getting. So there's a lot of your decisions, unlike Aquarius, a lot of your decisions are almost solely based on emotion of how others will feel. But now it's time to think about how you will feel, okay? <clears throat> we have the king of earth, generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the Midas touch. So Pisces, in 2024, you have the Midas touch, which means anything you touch will turn to gold. So if you had your choice, touch what you enjoy. Do what you love. Do what you're completely passionate about to the point where you're thinking about it all the time. You're always constantly thinking about it. So there's going to be some, some self-discovery that I see you going through to have this that's giving you the new perspective here. And so we have two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict, okay? So I'm definitely seeing that you are becoming someone who is a lot more self-sufficient. So for the four in 2024, yes, more unity and harmony, which means I'm getting more harmony with yourself. Okay, more harmony with yourself, um, more loving yourself because some of your decisions, yes, it'll make other people feel bad, but ultimately you're being left with feeling bad. I see you becoming more stable. So with the four, like I said, with the table, four legs, it represents stability. So you have stability, self-sufficiency, being able to do things on your own because we have the emperor here. 
Okay, so why is the emperor in reverse? Ace of air, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation. Okay, so I see that you are going to be activating more of your masculine energy in the year 2024. So with the emperor in reverse, the emperor is someone who goes after what it is that they desire. They make moves. They, they're, they're the emperor. They're the chief. They go first. They're a leader. They're not afraid. And I see that you have some fear here that's holding you back which is making you move very, very slowly with the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest card in the deck per se, towards the, the emperor. And it's because there's a new perspective that you will have in the year 2024 that's gonna amplify this. There's gonna be business ideas and inspirations that are flowing very effortlessly to you, all right? There's something that you were destined and meant to do with the higher font here. Why is the higher font here for Pisces 2024? Seven of water, a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. So procrastinating meaning stop waiting to be happy, right? Stop waiting to be free. Stop waiting to choose you. And I believe that this is what's happening in 2024. You're choosing you. There's a new found perspective that's coming through. You will have many different opportunities with the seven of water. Seven of water is also the fantasy card, daydreaming, being in your head a lot and not really materializing this. Okay. And this is something that it only frustrates you. And that's why with procrastinating, it's, it's really more of it only feels like a procrastination because you are still getting to know you and what it is that you truly desire. So you're not sure. So once you know you, you will know all the other, all the other answers you've ever had to question or ask. And so all of the answers are within knowing self, knowing you. And I believe you're coming into a, a wholeness here. Yes, wholeness in your heart with who you are and what it is that you desire and the life you desire to live, not settling. Okay, we have revelation. Yeah, so you're going to be having a huge revelation and we have energetic movement. This is going to be happening very quickly. Yes, maybe in the past things took a while for things to move for you. It's because you were taking the time to make a complex decision versus let your spirit and heart decide. Let your spirit and heart decide. So you're going to be having a huge revelation. Let's just see what this revelation is about. Pisces revelation. Why is this here for 2024? Thank you. Goddess of the sea. Wow. Goddess of the sea. So you are the queen of cups. You're the queen of water. Doesn't matter if you're a male or female. It just means that you're very, very connected to emotions. It is a gift. Um, you can feel, you can absorb um, in the water, once again, goddess of the sea, of course, you're a Pisces fish. You belong in water, okay? And they're, they're telling me water, peace, like your environment should be reflecting one of the sea, very peaceful, flowing, everything's great, like it's moving accordingly. You don't try to control the sea. Only a silly person would want to control the sea or the ocean, right? And so that's kind of the same thing when it comes to learning how to use your gift. So there's something about activating your gift in the year of 2024. We have abundance, purification, and ego. You have ego twice. What is your ego? Yourself, ego, identity, this person that you think you have to be or had to be. Now it's, it's like breaking free from all of this and saying, well, who am I when I'm not just making decisions out of empathy or out of ego? Because ego doesn't always have to be bad. It could just be because your ego feels bad. Okay, so you are the goddess of sea. So you are someone who has a very deep gift, empathic, and queen of cups is in reverse. So spirit advice for why your queen of cups is in reverse, which just means your intuitiveness yourself, you have not completely kind of shifted. And this is what 2024 is about is shifting completely. And I believe that last part was just seeing yourself and you say, I want to be a queen. So you want to be a queen, but your queen of cups is in reverse. Why is this? The lovers in reverse.
the hermit. So we have Virgo, Gemini energy now also on the board. Okay, you have two spiritual cards that are going to be taking place, two spiritual revelations that are going to be happening in 2024 for you. We have the hermit. You are going into hermit mode. Okay, so spending more time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery, especially with the higher font here, Taurus energy. You are really, really getting into a place of understanding yourself, this gift, who you are, why do you feel certain ways? Um, and there's a huge self-discovery, 2024 self-discovery, union with self is what I'm getting. The lovers, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions. So you have decisions in love. Okay. So even with the two of cups here, you have a soulmate here, king of earth. Someone could be around you, could be around you in your workspace. D they don't have to be, but I definitely see that there is someone around you that possibly could help you in your financial situation. They might may have the advice because I'm seeing a successful time confidently accept opportunities. So someone could offer you an opportunity in 2024 that's really going to help you. But I see you having to make decisions in your love life, not just in your intimate relationships, people that you love. Saying no would be a great boundary. Okay. Saying no, showing people how you want to be treated by how you are treating yourself. A lot of self-discovery, a lot of people changes. Anything else they can expect Pisces 2024? drive. So something is going to really inspire you here. And I do believe it says it's time to come home at the very top top. And I always say come home is coming home to self, come home to you. Who are you? Let yourself be free. Okay. So there's a huge self discovery that I see you going through. Let's see. There's a huge drive and I believe it's coming from the ACE of swords. You got that twice. So you're going to have complete revelations in 2024 where it just dawns on you. You can't force this to happen. It'll just naturally happen by you being more insightful, wanting to know more, wanting to imagine more for yourself is what's going to unlock this. Pay attention to how you feel around others. I can't make it up. Don't overlook what you know. Okay. So there's also going to be some type of information about your wisdom being able or something that you have to offer that maybe you're overlooking that will bring you financial success. But once again, Anything in this space that you're in, you're moving slowly because there's a lack of confidence behind it. Once you know who you are, you will have plenty of confidence. In 2024, you will know that. So pay attention to how you feel around others. This is your biggest thing is like, I love myself so much. I'm not going to hang out with this person because of how I feel after. So that is what I mean when it says loving yourself is choosing to feel good even if it means others don't, you have to choose you. So that's what's happening in 2024. I am now, I am now going to be moving on to Aries. All right, Aries, let's see what you have in store for 2024. What is your overall theme? Aries 2024. Okay, we'll take it. All in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, conception. So you will be in creative mode 2024 is what I'm getting a lot of energy coming your way. I'm already seeing the 10 of wands here, okay? So I'm also seeing that there's a lot of hard work you've been putting into whatever it is that you've been doing. So I'm definitely seeing slowing down and allowing the universe to help you. It's gonna be a really, really big thing for you to slow down and not work so hard at trying to figure things out. So let's look at Aries and see what do we have here, Aries. Okay, King of Cups, the Hangman, Three of Cups, okay, three more. Why is the King of Cups here for Aries 2024? It may not happen as quickly as you think it should, but everything is in divine timing. There's something about a perspective change happening here, um, moving away from some of these doubts and disbeliefs that you've had. We have death here in the reverse, Scorpio. I guess we'll keep that in the reverse. It's like, is it in the reverse? 
or not. So there's something about a death happening, an ego death that's trying to happen here in the six of pentacles, okay? So I'm hearing that in 2024, spirit, the universe wants you to know that there's going to be some changes in your life in order to direct you towards not having to work so hard. There's something about inspiration and a creative spark that you naturally have. You have a gift of passion and you naturally have a gift of being inspired and doing something and being driven. And this is a gift that you have is what I'm hearing. So I'm also getting with the Knight of Swords. This is one of the fastest cards here. There's something about just moving so quickly that you may miss it. So there's something about the hangman here being in the reverse, slowing down and seeing what the universe is trying to show you and work with you. So in 2024, be aware of the signs that you're seeing. Some of them you may see easier when your life is upside down. You see he's standing up, but the card is upside down. This card is upside down, but he's not. So what this tells me is some, of, some things may be easier seen when they are upside down, when they're in disarray, because it's so neatly organized that and it's maybe it's throwing you off because you're not able to see the truth of certain situations, okay? It's not meant to be hard is what I'm getting. So let's get some more clues on what's what this is about in 2024. Why is the King of Cups here? Okay, we have the King of Air. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations, okay? I'm seeing that your life is moving pretty quickly, moving fairly quickly in 2024. So spirit is saying to definitely use discernment to slow down. I see that you're moving away from being in your head about certain things. You're, you're overcoming doubts, disbeliefs, and fears with the six of swords here. You're moving away. What are you moving away from? You're moving away from regret, the past, things that didn't turn out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in the situation, crying over spilled milk. So you're finally moving forward from whatever it is that maybe kept you in a space for a long time. You know, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a situation that you're really hoping on. I'm hearing banking on. But once again, Aries, this is really about being open to a plan other than your own. And so what's happening in 2024 is there's something that's emerging where the universe is trying to give you ideas and inspiration so that you don't have to do this on your own. And it's coming through your imagination and it's meant to spark a creative spark. So anything that comes in and it creatively sparks you, know that this can only come from the universe. So I see strength, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So there's some things that happen, maybe people, things that people have said. You're learning to let that go, but I see the biggest thing is letting go of the old version of you with this ego here, the death card in reverse. Once you let go of this older version of you, it will let go of the people and the situations and the circumstances that you've also went through. What can they expect? What can Aries expect? Page of air, logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. See, once again. So it's almost like spirit wants to prevent you and save you from having to have a lot of setbacks and disappointments because you are taking things into your hands and doing it by yourself, trying to do it by yourself. And by yourself meaning without the universe, without help, without guidance, just again, coming up with many, many plans, many, many plans and going, 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 going. And I just see that spirit is going to put you in a place if you haven't already with the hangman. And this is upside down turning things upside down to slow you down. So if anything happens and it's a delay, it's all information for you to slow down is what I'm getting. Slow down and let things happen in their right timing. What else is gonna be happening for Aries in 2024? Six of fire, okay, but we do have victory. We have victory, good news, it's on its way. Public recognitions or rewards. So awards are here 
And I definitely see, even with the Three of Cups, there is celebrations. And so what I'm sensing is that you're closer than you think you are. In 2024, you will see you're closer than you ever thought you could be. And it's really getting out of your head here with the King of Air. I see you also attracting someone who can give you professional advice. So this could be a mentor of your business helping you. So once again, this is about being open to a plan other than your own. And where is your plan coming from? Is this plan coming from a, a spark of inspiration? Or is it, be, is it coming because it'll be a great plan to make money, to do this, to do that? So the reason why I'm saying that is because there's, a, there's huge spiritual lessons here that you're learning. All we have so far for your major arcana, besides death and the hangman in reverse, is strength. So future self, what do you want Aries to know for 2024? You have an eye that can see beyond the physical. So you have gifts that you could be overlooking. And once again, when you activate your gift, your eye, you can look down a hallway and see all of these doors, these doors representing different decisions that you can make. And with your, your third eye capability of awareness, you will not have to go through every door. But with this energy, you might go in this door, this door, and this door, this door, this door, having no strategy versus just coming within. There's something about meditating, slowing down, come within, hear, listen, paying attention to this subtlety because there's help. And you're not doing this on your own and your dreams or your desires were given to you from your higher self. So there is an ego death that is taking place for you um, not to resist your old way of doing things. There's a, there's a different way and you're getting access from being able to see beyond what's just in front of you physically. Aries, follow what brings you inspiration. Don't overlook what you know. So you have something that you know that you could just simply be overlooking. I see with the Six of Pentacles, there's going to be a balance in your finances in 2024. And it's all of this is coming after, though, because you're the Queen of Cups. Let's, let's clarify why this is here. Why did you give me the King of Cups for Aries in 2024? Page of Cups. Okay, Eight of Swords. So... I also see that you will be moving away from people as well in 2024, maybe people that you love, that I see you going on your own journey, okay? It could be a departure from someone. For, for some of you, I'm getting that uh, relationship with your father is going to be very important in 2024. It's very rare I get that. Um, whether you know your father, whether you've met your father or not, there's something significant that's taking place. You could be moving on from just people's obligations of you or what they wanted for you. Because the Six of Swords, you're moving away and the page is, is the energy I'm getting with you. You getting more into your curiousness of how you feel and what you love. And it's, it's more taking more consideration for what it is that you love and slowing down to experience it. There's just something about your passion. It's a gift. You're on fire. Okay. You are on fire in 2024. And so there's something about just using your discernment, not going through so much just because you have the energy and the perseverance to do it. Okay. Again, so you're moving forward. So once you come out of the hangman and the death, you have celebration and you also have a balance of your finances here. So it says you are brave for being you. So that's something too with the eight of swords. You will overcome many fears that others will not. Um, some people may have doubts, put doubts on you, but I'm definitely seeing in 2024, you're taking your own journey um, out of curiosity and you're coming up as the page of cups, which just means that you are following your instinct. Okay, it's a small feeling that you're going to be getting. More information for Aries. Just release it. Okay, so yeah, Spirit is saying just release anything that could be burdening you. What is it that they're going to be attracting in 2024? We have the sun peeking through right under that. We have healing. Okay, so you will be experiencing some deep healing 
And that is just what? Acceptance. Accepting things as they are and accepting that you are healed and whole without anyone and that you don't need anything to make it happen. You don't need anyone to be successful. You're here for victory. You can feel it down in your bones and good news is on the way. So you have public, so you're going through a lot of healing, but I also see this healing that you're going through of acceptance of self and just accepting your journey and accepting help is speeding things up significantly, but also with the peacock allowing you to spread your wings more. What else are they attracting? Sustenance. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing that whatever it is that you're attracting, capacity to love also at the bottom, is going to be sustainable. It's going to be very, very sustainable. One, one, one. So another thing here with sustenance is that I'm getting what you're eating is going to be very important too. You have a gift to see. So the third eye, the pineal gland, some of you may even look into decalcifying your third eye. Part of that is also what you're consuming and what you're eating. So there's something about your, your lifestyle change in 2024 really going all in because you're capable. You're just a beast. Like Aries energy, like this energy is like, yeah, I've been through it, but you can't stop me. Like you're still going. It's a very strong persevering energy and it's like spirit is like okay now let's use this towards going towards your dreams let's have that same perseverance towards that is what i'm getting so what does spirit want you to know about yourself in 2024 rebirth shedding the chrysalis taking risks yeah so you're going through a rebirth. It's time to leave the old behind. So that's what's happening in 2024 for you, Aries, is you are going through a rebirth, a complete rebirth. This rebirth is taking you on a journey, may even on a destination away. Some of you guys could be moving away from loved ones to start your own journey. That's for a few of you. So I'm definitely seeing that there's departure here and the departure is sending you to the six of fire. Six of fire is others recognizing your success. So this is a public acknowledgement that you are going to be receiving in 2024. So if you guys are an Aries, shout out to Aries. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. I'm hoping you guys allow the voice of the universe to guide you so that you can use your perseverance as a, a superpower versus as something that could deplete you over time because you trying to figure it out. There's nothing to figure out. The universe has already figured out. So that's where your intellect is, is connecting even more so with that feeling. All right, I'm moving on to Taurus. What's good? Let's see what you can expect for year 2024. Let's look at your overall theme. So if you are here, you are Taurus, sun, moon, rising, doesn't really matter. Whatever resonates most with you, I just believe that if you're on this video and you hear my voice, then you're meant to hear it. But if you are a Taurus, you're really meant to hear it. Let's see. 2024. Thank you, Taurus. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. Okay, so there's a huge wake-up call on just your worthiness and just how much you have to offer the world and the people around you. There is, it's like your reality is going to be reflecting just how rare and free you are in 2024 is what I'm picking up. Let's see. All right, so that means your, your, your person also is going to be rare and free, just like you. Okay, we have the world card, we have the tower card already a significant sudden change of events that's going to be happening in your year uh, of 2024, okay? It could be a moving situation, movement. Let's see one more card. The King of Pentacles. Let's see why the world is here in reverse for Taurus 2024. King of Swords. The Empress. One more card for the Tower, Taurus. 2024. Four of Wands, okay, and the Two of Cups, yeah. There's a significant change in your love life. If you're in a relationship or not, there's a huge significant change. I see that 
You could even, some of you, if you're in a relationship, there seems to be a proposal, someone working really hard towards bringing you two together. This is the overall energy is what I'm getting for Taurus in your love life, even if you don't have a person. The other person is working very hard and diligently to bring you in, to manifest you, to attract you, or to uh, bring you into harmony if you're already in a relationship. There's going to be many people that want you is what I'm hearing. Many people are going to feel like you're the one. Why? Because you're rare and you're free. There are not many like you, so many people are going to want to tie you down is what I'm getting. But there's only, there's a specific match that I'm getting where they're, they actually match your frequency. This is not just in your relationship. This is with your friends. This is also with your career. You're rare and free, so how do careers best suit you? So there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of movement that happens in 2024. So if you're wondering why, it's because you're so rare and free. And rare and free only attracts rare and free. And if you're not in that energy or around that energy, it will show very quickly. So with the King of Swords here, I see someone is diligently, yeah, trying to bring you together with them. Now, this is interesting. I don't know why I'm getting this. this. They're giving me a lot of love situations here. So with the King of Swords and the Empress, this person is not, once again, there's going to be a few people, but there's one specific person that you may have thought about a lot with the King of Swords as them being your person, and I just feel like you're the Empress. You're the Emperor. You're the Empress. And, it, and it's something about knowing your worth. You've known your worth, but in 2024, it's like you're claiming it and you're not taking anything less than that. So you're not even having to demand it. I was, I was going to say demand your worth, but you don't have to. It is just walking in who you truly are demands a specific energy from others around you is what I'm getting. So if there's someone trying hard to make a friendship work, make a relationship work, any type, they're coming up as the king of swords. And at the bottom, I have the two of swords. So there's un if there's uncertainty or confusion, that's your answer. What's meant to be, there wouldn't be confusion. There wouldn't be uncertainty. You would just know, even if it's a friendship. Okay, so that's something that I see that you're going to have to clear, clearing out your space, making room for the rare and free that you are attracting into your life. Um, including these jobs, rare opportunities is what I'm hearing. You will get opportunities. People said, whoa, it took me like four years to even get on the list. And all of a sudden you're, you're like, yeah, I just, you are very favored in 2024 is what I'm getting. Four is very significant. Um, eight is also very significant for you. So you are the empress, but the king of pentacles is in reverse. Why is this? I believe that you haven't, let's see. Okay, yeah, it seems like it's some inner conflict of your, it's like, it's not about being arrogant. It's not about being cocky. It's about just being you. And it's, I know, I know it sucks to be so rare and free, Taurus. It sucks to be so amazing, so empress-like that you cannot... dim your light to be humble. You're rare and free and it's about accepting. It's acceptance. 2024, full acceptance of who you are, Taurus, is what I'm getting. Let's get another, okay, we have Ace of Water, falling in love. So we have falling in love at the bottom, so you could be falling in love with someone in 2024, okay? Let's see. Five of Earth, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Okay, so yes, there's going to be some sudden changes in your finances, in your resources, because you're rare and free and wherever you have been is not mirroring that same energy. Even if you think it's enough, your spirit and soul and God universe knows what you're worth. You can't even fathom how much you're worth and what you deserve in your partnerships, in your careers, in yourself, to feel good, you deserve. So 
I see that what's happening here with the tower is that there's so many sudden changes, you don't know how it's going to work. And a lot of people say this is the unknown, but if you're here and you're connected to me by any means, we don't, I see it's time for you. Maybe it is time for you to use your gift. Maybe it is time to get out of your practical mind and use more of your intuitiveness. Because I'm seeing opportunities come that you think are great, but somehow they're not lining up in 2024. And that's because they're not as great as you. So there's something about being open to help from others. Like that doesn't mean you're not as strong. Doesn't mean you're independent, not independent. Doesn't mean you're struggling. It's like spirit wants to prepare you to receive. Or when you meet your person or your soul family or your tribe or whatever, whether you have or not, you're not overwhelmed because it's an unconditional love. I believe there's more depth to love for you to receive. If you're here, what else is going to be happening? You're coming out of severe, uh, severe fears about money. Where is it coming from? How is it going to happen? Where, am I, where is it going to go? Where am I going to get this to do this? The universe is here to help you. We also have the night of fire, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Once again, another confirmation. There are sudden changes out of nowhere. And I know us earth signs, because I'm a Capricorn, don't really like changes. But I've learned that the change is the redirection from the universe. It's help, it's assistance, it's guidance. And so we have to be open to allowing guidance outside of the practical and focusing more on your adventure, your passion, your relentless, fearless side that doesn't, if, if money wasn't a problem, what would you be doing? If money was not an issue and you had more than enough, where would you go? What would you be doing? This is the way that you are going to be thinking. So when they say it's the unknown, I say it's the unknown, but you have a gift to see. And you open this by your imagination getting more into your imagination. What else is here to come? So I have a, a swiftness in your passions, swiftness in, and that's really good. We also have your wishes coming true, concerns fade away, a love of life. So all these concerns are going to get worked out and they're going to get met. I see that there is just some inner conflict with the five of swords that you're overcoming about yourself here with the king of pentacles, about your beliefs on what you have to do to get what it is that you desire. And once again, there's a lot of thinking about money. And it's an energy and there's something, there's something that you must know and it's that you're rare and free. And if you're rare, how much is rare worth? Does rare have to try? It's like a rare ruby being worth more than 70 million and it's trying. Like, what are you trying for? Okay, so you have a wish come true and your concerns are fading away. You luckily are not doing it all by yourself. You're doing it with the help of the universe. So when you feel like you're coming to a dead end, this is usually where the universe comes in. So what else is here for 2024 for Taurus? Four of water missing an opportunity. So you have a fear of missing out is what I'm getting. A fear of missing out. You cannot miss what's meant for you. You probably have heard people say this, but you really have to truly know and believe this. Discontentment or bored and open your eyes to the possibilities. So I definitely feel like there is more that you're desiring, even if you feel like you already have a lot. There's more. And I believe that's why your world is being shaken up so that you don't get content and complacent in where you are. Even if others around you are saying you have so much, because I'm feeling materialistically, you're going to be very blessed in 2024 if you're not already. Okay, so we have a lot of emotions here, a wish come true. Let's see what it is that you're manifesting. You're manifesting protection. Once again, you're rare and free. You're rare and free, so spirit is protecting you very heavily. Okay, you guys could be an artist. You don't have to be a writer. Getting more into your artistic side. I'm just kind of feeling the energy here. And you could be. You don't have to be. But I definitely see you could be waking up to more of an, a, a passionate side of you that maybe you didn't know you had. Or maybe trying something else on a, a grander scale. What else are you manifesting? Innocence. 
youthfulness, exploration, kind of what I told Capricorn, having more fun, being more free, not always thinking about money and career and survival and making sure things are taken care of because it's in your innate capacity and ability, but really just feeling, having fun, remembering that you're here for an experience to explore on earth is what I'm hearing. What does Taurus need to know about themselves? 2024 is bringing in a lot of harmony. We have harmony at the bottom. May sweet and soft things find you. Harmony, inner child. This is crazy, because I just said this, and for some reason I picked up that deck, and the Spirit's like, no, grab this one. All right, so softness. So getting softer, what does this mean? Not having to be so hard. Independent, you've had to... Be independent, make things happen because you are the shit. This is what I'm getting. This is what it's looking like. Okay, so there's a lot of harmony. So harmony that's coming in in 2024 for you, Taurus, I would say is harmony with your inner child. Seeing life as a playground and exploring and getting more into your imaginative rim and letting the finances and resources find you because you're vibrating like a child who wants to explore this big playground. So infinite resources come to you. We also had yin and yang. Okay, so you guys could definitely be meeting someone. Um, you are meant to be free. You are meant to be free from all contracts. There's something I'm hearing too. I don't know why that's important. Contracts. You are meant to be free. Something that Taurus will find out about themselves in 2024. Your energy is valuable. That's crazy. Your energy is valuable, Taurus. Are you underselling yourself? Advice for Taurus in 2024. Are you underselling yourself? Do you not know your entire worth? An illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Okay, so I definitely feel we also have the protectress here, strength, boundaries, and protect it well. Your energy is valuable. So here's another confirmation. Protect it well. You are releasing yourself from any fears of what you can do, but also being open to receiving is where the softness and the feminine energy comes from. Being open to receiving help. You might not have to pay for everything. Others may want to help you. Doesn't matter how grand the scale is. So I see for you, there's a lot about just, first of all, you should never be in lack. Your energy is too valuable. So things are going to be moving around so that your environment in reality best suits the rareness and the freeness that you exude. That's what's happening in 2024. So I'm definitely feeling no sudden changes on your part. Let the universe show you. Let the universe reveal to you, okay? So if you guys are a Taurus, shout out to Taurus. I hope this brought you some clarity for the year 2024. We have the four of wands here, which is what I said is the overall energy, which is love, marriage, cere celebration, ceremonies, coming to, into union. And I believe that you've been working so hard. And I just see that this is going to happen very quickly in the year of 2024 for the right people and the right opportunities to show up. They already are there. So I am moving on. Gemini, let's see what is here for you in the year of 2024. Let's see what the overall energy is for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. I'm hearing use your time well in 2024. Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan, the right direction. 22, on the, on the bottom of the deck, we have keeping up. It says 22, set your course. So what this is telling me is that if you're not sure what's going to happen next or you want to know what's going to happen next, if you just take a look at your imagination and ask yourself, where do you want to go next? This is what's happening. You are in control. Okay, Gemini, um, you are learning this. You are in control. You are in authority. You are the master manifester. Okay, so key, if you talk about low frequency things, you will attract low frequency things. So not using your, your voice to emit low frequencies. Um, you have a gift that you're overlooking. Let's, let's see what this is about. Two of pentacles. We also have the moon at the bottom of the deck. 
Star card in reverse. Nine of Wands. Okay, so I'm seeing that you're coming out of a long period of battling, having to fight for what it is that you want. Um, and I see support coming in also. So being surrounded with more support of your dreams and your goals. We have Eight of Wands, so something is going to be happening very quickly after you make a decision. Okay, and we also have the devil here in reverse. Okay, coming out of low frequency things, just things that are keeping you bound. And we have the three of pentacles again. All right. So overall, what I'm seeing is that you have some opportunities that are going to be coming in in 2024. And I'm also seeing that it is up to you to decide which you where, which, where you wish to go. Having a plan is just simply knowing where you desire to go is what I'm getting. Once you make that decision with the two of pentacles, it will happen very quickly. Let's see why the two of pentacles is here. What are they deciding? Four of air. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation will provide answers. So being in your head. Coming out of your head in 2024 is what's here for you, Gemini. Focusing more on how you feel. Let meditation guide you. Whose voice are you listening to the most? The voice of the universe. God is the voice of truth. But I see that there is an energy that you're overcoming of being in a low frequency. We have the devil and the star. Okay, so it's almost like it's interesting because you are Gemini. And there's two. You have a choice. In 2024, which version of you, this is your theme for Gemini, which version of you will you choose? The low frequency version where it seems like you have more support when you choose to do things in a low frequency, whether that may be drama, talking about low, low vibrational things, kicking it with low vibrational people, doing things that just don't make you feel good, going against what you actually desire. The devil is also the slave card, could be maybe doing, working a job that you don't really want to work, but there's enough support to keep you there or maybe people are proud of something that you're doing, so you're staying there. Either way, you're being asked to free yourself. We have two versions of you. It's interesting. Let's get the top version of you, the star version of you. The star version of you, if you choose, what will they have in 2024 if they choose the star version of them? Nine of Wands also under here after choosing the star, because once again, which version in 2024 will you choose and align yourself with and make harmony with? Will it be the star or will it be the devil? The star is going to get you events moving at a fast pace. Delays will be over and many things will be happening at once. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel is also here that will be guiding you. So you have guidance when you decide to choose the light. The light, it's interesting, the light or the dark. The star or the dark. Negativity, talking about negativity, being around negativity, being around negative people, okay? Being in your head of negative thoughts. You have a gift, your mind. It allows you to be whoever you wish to be. You might even desire to be an actor or be someone who wants to express themselves. Don't have to be an actor. I'm just pulling some, I'm pulling things out of you, whoever you are, Gemini. You have a gift. And sometimes it feels like it might be a curse because you're in multiple different places in your mind, in your space. And it's like, just choose who you want to be and choose you. Choose the version of you that's in love in light, in joy. Choose the version of you that doesn't talk about those things to the point where people just don't bring it up anymore because they realize you've changed. What will happen if they choose the devil? You have more support, in quotations. You have more people around you cheering you on when you're doing things in a low vibration. So, or even your mind could be cheering you on like, yeah, we should do this or we should do this. The low vibration just means you being in control. The devil can mean codependency. It can mean many things. So what will happen? 
for a fire, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So we have the four of fire. What will happen if you choose the devil? We have some type of harmony coming in here, contentment, peace. So there's a, I'm getting, there's a decision or decisions that you have to make next year. And there's others around who have an opinion about it. There could be people around you that have an opinion about it. You will still have to face peace, abundance, and let's see another card for if they choose to this low frequency. Nine of air. Expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. Once again, self-fulfilling prophecies, meaning you're doing it yourself. That's how powerful you are. So instead of control, it's not really a control, how to control your mind, get to know yourself. So if you choose to stay in this, yes, it may seem like it's bringing, making people around you happy and things are being completed. And it's a happy home life, which is interesting. So people almost like low vibrational, again, doesn't have to be bad. It could be just doing something you don't really want to do. It's not really going after your dreams, not going after your inspirations. It's just kind of settling because you know you'll be able to get by, whether this is, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just get this job. I'm going to do this because it's going to make these people happy. It's going to do this. It'll make my home life better. So it's, it's a very tricky situation here because we have this path and we have this path. And the star path requires you to have faith because you don't know how it's going to happen. Trust that you are being guided on a journey. There you go. Another card for Gemini. So you have to trust that you're being guided on a journey, something higher than you. And what do you need to do? Focus, simply focus on joy. What brings joy to you? Since you want so many steps and how to figure this out and how to figure this out, figure out what brings you joy, genuine joy. Not even happiness. Happiness is great, but joy. I'm getting to an excitement. What brings you joy and excitement? This is the self inner work that you should be doing, especially in 2024, what you're going to find yourself doing. If the course, you don't know where the course is going, it's because the driver hasn't set its destination. Where do you want to go? Where do you desire to go? Another message from higher self to Gemini. You're not meant for everyone. Once again, low frequency. People who are stuck in their old ways, they don't want to try something new. They don't want to try something different. Okay, so these, this could definitely be holding you back from some decisions in your life. Doesn't have to be, but I'm definitely seeing in 2024, there's a decision of which version of you will you choose? What are they attracting? What is Gemini attracting? Relaxation. Almost every single zodiac sign had that card showing. Relaxation and steadfastness. So things are going to be moving fairly quickly for you. I don't see things slowing down. I see them picking up. We have the eight of wands also. So things are moving very, very quickly. This is actually a blessing because what? You made up your mind on where you want to go. So now things are going to be moving quickly. So if you don't know, this also means to relax because you could be over your, overworking yourself trying to figure it out. You should not have to figure out what brings you joy? It is more of a come back to yourself. What are you telling them about them, themselves if they're a Gemini in 2024 universe? Emotions. Honoring the flow of all of the emotions. Emotions, alchemy, processing, sensitivity, taking time to process. Like I just said, coming back to yourself, taking time to process. There is no rush. There is no hurry. The journey is the destination. You are here for a reason. You did not just land on this reading for, I see that the universe has to constantly convince you of its existence and its guidance. This is 2024. Will you be open to that guidance? I don't see many major arcanas. And when I do, I see them in the reverse. So let's see, what is their advice? What is the advice for Gemini in 2024? We have wellness at the bottom, prosperity. There's a positive shift in, a, in your flow 
of divine support. Flow, let things flow and look and see what's being revealed. It's more of an exciting mystery. Mystery prosperous is also health and wealth is what I'm getting. Health and wellness, wellness of your mind. You have a gift. You can become anyone you want to be. You naturally have this gift, which is why I said you could possibly be an actor or be into characters. Either way, you get to choose who you want to be. And that's what 2024 is bringing you. Let's get another word of advice for Gemini. Self-confidence through God confidence. Once again, waking up to God, the universe. You do not have to figure this out on your own. Use that little spidey, sensey mind of yours, the gift, to detect what this universe is. You know, get go beyond the mind versus trying to figure out things that could literally be given to you in a channeled message. Okay, some, some messages will come in a channeled message and it, you, don't, you don't have to read a thousand books to know this. You just have to be connected with the infinite source. God, the universe, it is infinitely intelligent. Puts the sun in place every morning. This is exactly what I communicate with. You have that same guidance guiding you. So you could even get into teaching. You could get, you love this, like the philosophy, breaking it down. And so instead of trying to figure out how, just have fun with your gift of learning more about, oh, wow, what I can do with my gift and what I can see and how I can feel versus draining yourself mentally, trying to make things happen for yourself. The universe is here and it's already making things happen for you is what I hear. So let's get a last card of what they can expect to experience in 2024. If they're here, Gemini. Three of air, great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others. So yes, 2024, there will be some things you will have to release and let go of because some people are just not aligned with where you're going. Once you choose, which is what I believe, Gemini, to be the star, the star is completely guided by the light. This is the light within you and it's guiding you. And the more intuitive you get and interested you get into that light, the more it draws you to it. Not everyone around you wants to know that light. So there's something about letting go of who aligns and who doesn't, not trying to force people to come. Be yourself, be that star and let that light attract the right people in your life for 2024. All right, so I hope this gave you guys clarity. If you guys are here, definitely don't forget to like the video, comment down below, shout out to Gemini's. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to Cancer. What's good, Cancer? Okay, let's see what you can expect for the year of 2024. This is gonna be the overall theme for 2024. Who in the world are you, Cancer? Getting to know the new you. Okay, so 2024, you're going to be getting to know the new you. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Okay, so all of what you've been going through and experiencing was to get you to question who in the world are you? 2024 is going to be a huge self-discovery year for you. If you're here, Cancer, let's get three cards. Thank you. We have judgment, spiritual awakening. Out of every single zodiac, you're the only one. You're the first. Cancer to get the judgment card. Judgment is basically God calling you. Like he's blowing the horn in the clouds. People are coming. It's the spiritual calling. It's like, it's the arrival. It's everything. So you are getting ready to discover the truth. We have the five of pentacles here. So you have that going on. You have your financial situ situation going on. Maybe not knowing where you're going to go, live, be, um, there's some fears here surrounding your money in 2024. So we're going to look at that cancer. Once again, cancer overthinking how you're going to make this happen. It's not for you to make happen. And once you know who you are, you'll know why you have so much favor on your life. You don't have to go and figure this all out. You are the queen of wands. Two more cards. Why is the, the lovers? You have some pretty big choices here coming up in the year of 2024, okay? Some huge choices. I see you moving towards what you're really excited about, but this is causing some fears around your living situation. You are waking up to who you truly are, and I actually am inspired to grab another deck. 
Who are they becoming? Why is judgment here? We have freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you in the year of 2024. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. I said this in another sign. I don't remember which one it was. There's a lot of freedom here for you. Okay. And this is not going to come from an, um, an, an intellectual place. So this freedom, let's see who you're becoming with the judgment. Independent. You're becoming independent. You're a natural healer, cancer. You're a natural healer. You've heard this before, right? Of course, you're a cancer. Your intuition is strong. You've heard this. You don't have to go with the crowd. This is something that you're breaking in 2024. Life supports you in every way. How you may be so used to not getting support that it may feel unfathomable that you're going to be receiving an overwhelming amount of support in 2024. And it's coming from the universe. I'm hearing justice. And it's time for you to see the good in people and that good people will come and support your visions. Okay, so that's something that's very, very big here. You're moving away from all conflict and strife, disharmony. And I want to know why is the five of wands and the seven of wands here? We have conflict. Ace, okay, so most of this conflict is in your business ventures, in your business in working. This is where most of your focus has been. I see in the year of 2024, you have an opportunity with the ace of earth, some type of tangible resource opportunity. It says important documents or contracts, a promising business venture, the inflow of abundance. You have something being presented to you in the year of 2024 that will bring you a lot of abundance. However, it's going to require your faith and your trust of allowing this to be revealed to you. That's why you must go through judgment. Once you go through judgment, you become the queen of wands. The queen of wands can make anything happen, anything appear. She's very creative. She's a multitasker. Um, she can manage many things. She can do many things. She, he, doesn't matter. This energy, the reason why it's a feminine energy is it's time to nurture more of your creative endeavors as this is where you're going to find most of your harmony. Why is the lovers here? Thank you. It was already ready. Two of air. Being, I'm asking, cancer, why is the lovers here? We have two of air, two of swords, confusion, lack of decision. I said this in Pisces, I believe. If you are confused, that is your answer. And really understand that we have to understand the universe gives us signs before we get hurt. We think, oh, we loved and the universe. It's like, no, the universe gives you signs. And right here we said being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. So there's something about facing truths and relationships and connections and partnerships in the year of 2024 here. The five of wands is conflict. Yes, it's going to create conflict with others around you. I see that, but it's not about them. It's about independent you choosing yourself. Seven of air. You don't want to feel like you're betraying. You're letting people down. Plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. So with the five of wands, there's a lot of conflict in when you're going to be doing all of this. And once again, letting the universe guide you and show you how this is going to happen. You're not here alone and you don't have to do it alone. You're just so used to doing it alone, maybe, that it is hard for you to believe that you don't have to do it alone. But that's what this is about, is judgment. Hey, let me in, says the universe. Let's see what your higher self wants you to know about 2024. Cancer. To feel good is to feel God. So because you're an intuitive and you're a cancer and you're gifted with feelings, when you feel good, you are feeling God. When you feel bad, you are not feeling God. Some people can say it's the devil. Some people can say it's negative. You're just simply not feeling God. When you feel good, that's the whole goal of everything is to feel good, to be free, to feel good, to be joyful, to feel good. So feeling good is your compass and what you should be following. 
But the fears that you have around money and making things happen is so loud, you cannot really hear. It's not a hearing. It's a subtle feeling of feeling good. And so in 2024, Spirit is saying, follow what feels good. Even if you leave a job, a situation, feel good, feel excited about it or a partnership or a project, you should do it when you feel excited. So there's pressure now. I don't know if maybe you, know, you I've revealed too much in this reading because I'm feeling there's pressure now of like having to do this and make these decisions. And this is something I really feel like you're setting yourself free from. Everything is already divinely orchestrated in your favor, Cancer. It's time for you to really trust. Um, 2024 is saying, trust. Can you trust something other than yourself? Can you trust something greater than yourself that is guiding you? Higher self, what do you want cancer to know? Your perspective on life will be admired. Spirit wants you to know that the plans are already here and you already have success. The biggest thing that you're overcoming is just being free, free from yourself. It's like spirit has the wheel, but then yourself is grabbing the wheel. And it's scary to be in the passenger seat, I know, but you must trust the driver. And I just believe there's been a lot of mistrust with relationships, with connections, with situations not working out. And yes, you can focus on that. But I see that. Does that feel good to focus on? No, it doesn't feel good to think about all the things that didn't work out, actually, is what you should be saying, because it doesn't feel good. And that's your sign that, okay, well, it's not God. What feels good to talk about? What else do you want them to know? Imagine yourself exploring three new places and expect to hear from me soon is what the universe wants you to know. So who is it that they're becoming? Okay, with this judgment card, Cancer, in the year of 2024. And the, per the reason why you're becoming this is because you're desiring freedom. You're desiring independence. And we'll see what else you're desiring. It's, it's like not a lot of good things maybe happen or maybe you don't focus a lot on the good. Maybe you just focus on the bad or what didn't work out or what might not work out. And that's your biggest perspective change is focusing on the good so the good can work out. You're in more control than you think. It says it's safe to surrender. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's like I can feel this energy. And it, you're definitely a feeler. So you have a gift to feel. And sometimes people think it's a gift and a curse because yeah, sometimes you can absorb others, but that's where you love yourself enough to say, oh, I'm not going because when I go, I don't feel good. And that's enough reason alone. And I just feel like many people maybe have not honored your feeling good feelings and they're just like, okay, it doesn't feel good. So they just let it go. And maybe this is something you've done, but it says the lover, Aphrodite, passion, abundance. Your abundance is in what you love. There's a transformation happening with these butterflies. You're the lover. What are you in love with? This feels good, right? Of course it's going to feel good. You're going to feel good the entire time, which means you're going to feel God the entire time. And when you're feeling that in that vibration, this is the golden frequency that I talk often about that you should be in to manifest all of your desires because this is what you're mainly focused on. How can I get what I want? This is your question when you wake up, how can I get what I want? And then you go off and you make a plan, but the plan doesn't even feel good. It has to feel good all the way through. Otherwise it's not meant for you. If it's meant for you, it'll feel good all the way through. Not, okay, I'm going to go through torture for one year doing this, something I don't love to get this. It doesn't feel good. So that's how you know, well, it doesn't feel good. This is not the way, but this requires a whole lot of faith. Okay. So let's see what it is that you're attracting. What is it good? Let's focus on the good. Okay, Cancer, what is it good that they're attracting? 2024, you are attracting acceptance. Acceptance of what? Acceptance of it doesn't feel good. I accept that. I can't make something feel good. Moving forward. Acceptance of self. Accept that you're, you have a big heart and you care. And you're a lover. It's okay. Look at you have the lovers and the lover. Write your books, write your novels, your romance books, like whatever you love to do. The, it's like, yes, get into this. 
There's excitement behind here. What else are they attracting in 2024? Insight and openness to your what? Spiritual quest. That's deep. That's deep because you got the judgment card here. That is what this is. Your spiritual quest. So in 2024, you are going on a spiritual quest. What is a spiritual quest? It's literally discovering who or what you are. When you know what you are, you are a child in the sense of the most high. I like to think of it as a child because a child doesn't do anything except for exist, have fun, play, explore, and trust that it's going to, that they're going to be taken care of. And this is how our relationship with the universe was meant to be. So there's a sense of openness coming up to you, coming in for you in the year of 2024 for you to be more open to what? Insight, your third eye to see, okay? To see the truth of situations. So you have good things coming, acceptance, feeling good, lovers, okay? Anything else that's coming in for them? Last card for cancer, 2024, what's coming in for them? We have achievement peeking through, okay? You're really looking for, for some type of achievement to happen, but you will have achievement when you are aligned with what you are truly in love with. Clear your energy. And this is why even the cards, like how they fell, clear your energy, Okay, how you feel, those negative thoughts and, and being open to receiving good is what I'm getting for you, Cancer. So I'm hoping that this gave you clarity as well on your journey for 2024. There is good happening, but even in your cards, for you to see the good, you must focus on the good. You have a beautiful, huge opportunity that's somehow surrounded by all of this fear of defeat, maybe not getting what you desire this is where all of your answers are answered. When you connect with your spiritual self, you will already know it's destined for you. And that is a shift that you cannot pay for. It is literally a shift that changes your whole life. And I believe 2024 is that shift for you. So I am now gonna move on to Leo. All right, what's good, Leo? If you're here, this is gonna be what you can expect for the year in 2024, what the universe wants you to know. Let's first start with your overall theme. For the year 2024 for Leo, Leo, thank you. Okay, Leo, you have two cards. We have forget who you are, conditioning falls away, memory no longer defines you. Do not drink poison. Do not drink things you know are bad for you. So in the year of 2024, you are releasing entirely who you used to be, okay? What used to define you no longer defines you. Uh, we have you're a badass, you're the fairy, okay? Nothing defines you. And so it's very important what it is that you are surrounding yourself, who are, whoever you're surrounding yourself with in the year of 2024. Do not do things that you know are bad for you. There's something about loving yourself deeper when it comes to some of the decisions that you're making. Okay, so forget who you are. What is this about? We have the two of cups and the two of wands. One more card for Leo. Ace of wands. Okay, so we have something happening here. Let's see, one more card. Thank you. Okay, Will of Fortune. Something is destined to happen in the year in 2024 for you. Let's see, Leo, what's destined to happen for Leo in 2024? What's destined for them? So we have competing goals, bothersome delays, and conflict with others. So there are some details that are going to be coming in in the year of 2024. Something that's destined that you're going to hear or something that's gonna be revealed to you, Leo. This is for you to take another path. What is this path leading Leo to with the Ace of Wands? Renewal. Now we have the second judgment card. Review and evaluate. It's time to review and evaluate your relationships. Okay, let's see, what are they reviewing and evaluating here? Your relationships, and then also where you are making time where you are placing your time, where you are placing your energy, 
who you are giving your energy to. We have two of wands, two different decisions and paths that you will have to make in the year of 2024. But what I'm getting is you're focused on the water. You're focused on what brings you peace and what brings you what brings you peace and what brings you ease. You have a whole new opportunity coming to you with the Ace of Wands here. This review and evaluate tells me that it is a spiritual calling on your life for something that you are meant to do in this lifetime. Let's see what this is for Leo. What is this that Leo's meant to do? Renewal. Space, time, and self. Trust in the places you feel guided towards. Infinity, reincarnation, 5D. So space, time, and self means coming out of the 3D. You have a lot of your focus has been placed on the 3D, which is the physical realm, work, relationships. But something more is destined for you. I believe you're meant to find your purpose, your greatest purpose in 2024. This theme has given me union with purpose. Not to do things anymore that are a low frequency. I really see having a good time is going to be changing in 2024 for you. So there's a sense of uh, rediscovering who you are. And so you're, this process is entirely out of your control, but it is destined for you. And so I see what's going to be happening is that spirit is saying to be patient, that what it is that you're desiring will come. I see that you have a lot of energy around trying to manifest something. So what is this about? What are they manifesting in 2024? We have belonging, okay? So you're manifesting where you belong, okay? Without conditions, without conditions. So this is about unconditional love, unconditional love for yourself without needing another person to be there to give that to you. So it says, take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding matter. So there's going to be some challenges that I am seeing, but I see that it's because it's to set you on a better track. You have five of wands, there's some conflict that you're overcoming here. Let's also get some clues on what that is so I can break down this reading, okay? What is this five of fire here? Nurture. And we have prosperity at the bottom. It's time to focus on purpose and what brings you deep fulfillment rather than just achievement and temporary happiness. There's fulfillment, which is an entree, and you've been getting a lot of appetizers. And so in 2024, there's a big entree and a dessert and a five-course meal that's waiting for you. However, what I'm sensing is it's going to require you to nurture your inner child, to, to nurture more of the playful side of you and to trust in where you are being guided. So let's see what else they are manifesting. We have the two of wands here. What is this ace of wands? So we have a renewal, a new, a judgment call. Nine of earth. Okay, so we have self-employment. Successful self-employment, enjoying little life's luxuries, spending quiet time alone. So there's some independence here that I see that you're getting into for the year of 2024. A lot more independence to be able to do it on your own. To not feel like you need someone else to do it for you or to help you do it. I see in 2024, there's a lot more independence. I see you've been sharing a lot. And I believe that's also from don't drink, do not drink from the poison. So you've been sharing with the wrong people. So uh, some of you, Leos, in 2024, you're going to see details coming out, five of wands. There's conflict. This would be physical conflict about something in your life. Now, what is this conflict coming from? What is this conflict coming from for Leo? Thank you. Justice. Fair and just decisions. It's karma. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. So there will be some things and people that you will have to walk away from. I see you choosing yourself in a situation here. We have self-independence, independence, even the nine of earth is the nine of pentacles. This would be self-employment, 
self-sufficiency, doing things on your own and feeling proud of that. So this is about independence. If it were the 10, this would be a couple, a relationship. There's something about you having justice, about doing it for yourself, not owing anyone anything. It's because of freedom. You want to feel prosperity, but you also want to feel freedom. We have the wheel twice. So this is destined for you, okay? A time of a positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So you have a lot more material success coming in. I see jewelry. I see gold. I see cars. I see resorts. I see clothing, hair. I see technology. There are a lot of little luxuries you're going to be experiencing and obtaining in 2024. Um, a new computer for some of you guys. So there's a lot of little luxuries you're going to be getting, but you're getting it for yourself. There's something about being proud of yourself without others involved. And I do see you becoming the emperor. We have Aries energy. So becoming the emperor means organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So taking leadership with the ace of wands is a new path here that has been merged and forged by the universe. And it's allowing you to have self-employment and it's successful self-employment. So spirit is saying, in the meantime, trust in the places and, and feel guided, that you feel guided towards. So this isn't going to be a logical decision. This isn't going to be what everyone else thinks. You're being free from what everyone else thinks what everyone else feels. You're making decisions for you, not needing others to feel confident in you or to believe in you. You're also becoming the queen of earth, so someone who is going to be nurturing more of your finances. So I see that you're coming into an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, more grounded, more stability, longevity, um, of, of stability is what I'm getting. Longevity of finances and resources is what I'm hearing. So let's see what the universe wants you to know, Leo, for 2024. Don't overlook what you have to offer for it is valuable. So you're going to, once again, with the judgment card here, this tells me the universe is going to wake you up to something that you're overlooking because it's valuable. And if you offered it, you would make a lot from it, but you're overlooking it and it requires you to have the confidence and not just others believing in you for you to do it. So that's something that's big too. You have the power to transcend pain, Leo. What else is here? So there's some unsatisfaction in your life in 2024. This is a good way to put it, going into 2024. A lot of unsatisfaction, and that's because you know deep down in your heart you were meant to shine. And so with you are meant to shine here, this is what the universe is telling you. We also have the sun. Be patient. It will come. Manifestation and power. You are meant to shine. You are meant to be the sun. You are meant to be happy. You are meant to be in joy. And it shouldn't be dependent on anything or anyone else. What does the universe have for you in guidance in 2024? Guidance, spirit wants you to let yourself sparkle and shine. And look at that, divine life purpose, like I just said. So you're going to be discovering your divine life purpose, and that is to shine. Shine your light. Express yourself. You're meant to express. And little and luxuries help you express yourself. That's why you're meant. That's why it should come quickly to you. Okay, jewelry. I'm getting lots of jewelry, lots of gold. Not to be ashamed of your desires. Say lots of jewelry, lots of sparkling. You are being guided to be bold and show you're bigger, but we have distractions, you notice. Bigger than life side of the world. You are meant to shine and people want to shine with you, so they gravitate towards you. Trust the signs in your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment, divine life purpose. So this is what you are discovering and in conclusion of 2024, and so your life purpose, you're going to see some of the things that maybe have been harmful to you more than you thought. So this is going to give you an opportunity to choose self-love, to be more confident, to be more radiant, to live a life in joy, and to enjoy all of life's little luxuries in the process. So 
If you guys are here and you're a Leo, shout out to you Leos. You're meant to shine. You're meant to sparkle. You're meant to discover your life purpose and to see why you're here. And your life purpose is already aligned with what you are excited with. It's not going to be something you don't want to do that you need to fulfill because God told you. No, it's going to be excitement. You're going to love to do this. You were born to do this. All right, so I am moving on to Virgo. What's good, Virgo? If you are here, then that means you are a Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart. Let's see what your theme is, Virgo, overall theme for Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. So there's some things that maybe you don't think are fair or going your way going into 2024 or in 2024. So let's see what that's about. Messages for Virgo, three cards. Thank you. Chariot. But we do have something that is moving forward in your favor in 2024. But you may be focused on what's not going right with the five of cups. This is crying over spilled milk. Sometimes it says on the card or just focusing on things that didn't work out. And when you focus too long on what didn't work out, eventually, yes, your energy will rise to anger because it will start to fester inside of you. These feelings that you have, okay, maybe de betrayal, defeat, things that shouldn't have happened. Okay, looking back at things that should not have happened or trust that everything is happening for a reason. Every single thing has happened in your life for a reason. When you're able to come here, you will find more peace of just allowing things to coexist and fall where they need to fall. We have the page of wands. We have the 10 of swords. So yeah, just thinking about the ending, backstabbing. We got we have seven of swords, people wearing masks around you, not being their true authentic self. And here you are, page of, of wands. So let's just see what this last card is for the seven of swords. What are they attracting in 2024, Virgo? Nine of swords, yeah. So you are definitely seven of pentacles being asked to be patient with yourself okay there are some endings that are happening these are endings that were meant to happen the only major arcana event that i see is the chariot which means things will move forward things will improve as you focus on the good seven of pentacles it may feel like it's taking some time and the only hope that i see here is the page of wands. Let's get into let's get into why. Okay, so not sleeping, being worried about some decisions here, just about what people have done in the past, not being able to trust people, um, just feeling alone. Okay, so this is something that I see you coming out of in 2024. The the most there's something here keeping you alive in the sense of hope, keeping your energy awake. All right, so what is this page of wands? Yes, I love it. So we have the queen of fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So the one thing that is giving you inspiration in 2024, aside from some regretful decisions that you have been focused on, once again, he's looking down, the palace is up. So keeping your head up is very important and trusting and knowing that it's your vibration that is attracting your reality. So you must raise your vibration is what I'm seeing. And the way that you're doing that is through something that really inspires you. All right. It allows you to be creative. It allows you to be expressive. It allows you to be passionate. You're very confident at it. And whatever this is gives you hope in the midst of everything else that seemingly does not seem to be working. And that is because spirit is taking all of the dark things, the negative things that may have happened, and is highlighting this little bitty light, this little bitty spark, so that you can see that light very clearly when your darkness is illuminated and that light is within you. That light is something that you're inspired and love to do. It's the sun. Let's get some clarity on what that is for Virgo. I am in divine flow and move in alignment. Yin and yang, unity, 
balanced energy and manifestation. So you are in the energy of manifestation and are manifesting everything. And so sometimes it's like, oh, wow, you know, when our reality isn't really aligning up, we have to look at our vibration and ask ourselves, how do we feel? So I see you coming into a more confident version of you. What else is happening here in 2024 for Virgo? What else is happening for Virgo in 2024? Thank you. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So you are moving towards a very happy, stable family life. Everything that wasn't aligned needed to be brought to your attention, which is what? The light, shedding the light. When we say we're shedding the light in the darkness, shedding the light, what this means is that your light universe is shedding this light on what is no longer aligned in your life. And what it's doing is, yes, it sucks because it reveals everything. But what it also does is it aligns everything now with what you truly desire. So in the year of 2024, you're coming into a very happy family life of stability. This is a home. This is having a home with somebody having children, like either you're going to see this play out or you're seeing this come together in unity and harmony, yin and yang. So I'm seeing that there hasn't been a balance because you've been focusing a lot on what's not going good. As you see behind him, he has two cups. So there are still opportunities that you may be overlooking because of everything that did not work out in the previous years. 2024 comes to restore your hope, or comes, comes to restore your faith, Virgo. And trusting that everything is working out and there's a reason why you desire success. It's because it's a part of who you are. What else are they attracting in 2024? The chariot once again. I love it. It's here again. And it says an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Something is going to pay off. You don't see it. I also see that this could be a partnership that's being promoted, someone helping you financially, you coming in to some type of partnership, whether it be a career or a person, there is a financial gain from partnering with someone or someone's company that is happening in 2024 for you. It is moving very quickly with two chariot cards. So we have the chariot, the nine of swords. These are the fastest cards in the tarot deck. You have it twice in two different decks and we're on the ninth zodiac. So no one else got those cards, only you. So there's something in trusting the signs. You shouldn't have to see your name written on something for you to be like, oh, it's the universe talking to me, right? Because there's a sense of, of warmness when you know that you're not doing this alone. What else is coming for Virgo? Queen of air, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation, so not taking it so seriously, Trusting that everything happens for a reason, that you're, you're where exactly where you need to be is what I'm getting. Message for Virgo. What are they attracting in 2024? Childlike expression, having fun, all right? Laughing more, smiling more. I swear I can always tell when a Virgo is on TV or it's a Virgo. Smiling more, not taking life so serious. Okay, so you're very independent, you're very experienced, you're very realistic, and you're very witty is what spirit is saying. And so there's something about anger and it's like, yeah, if you focus on the bad, it may stir up this emotion, but instead channeling that emotion in your creativity. Okay, so you shouldn't even really reach anger. You shouldn't even reach this. So why are you getting to this place? And, and this is something that you have to determine in 2024. Why am I getting to this place? What else are you attracting? You're attracting childlike expression. You're attracting perseverance, okay? The power and the willpower to keep going. So you will still have plenty of strength to keep going and moving forward. I also believe that your energy is going to be restored. You're going to have a lot more energy and excitement in the year of 2024. Not sure what you were doing in 2023, but whatever it was, it, it didn't really give you the opportunity to thrive to your highest capability as the queen. So starting off as a page, I see what's happening is that you're going into this next chapter in your life in 2024 
from a childlike perspective, allowing yourself to be guided by something higher. When you're able to connect with your inner child, it almost gives you a sense of comfort knowing you don't have to make it happen and take care of it. You already have a, a guider that's going to do that for you. In this case, it's the universe. So everything is not for you to figure out is what I'm hearing. So you have perseverance coming to you and you have delight. So it is good things that, it, that are coming to you. I see that it is going to be a way better year than 2023 for you, Virgo. And the only way it won't is if you focus on all that appears to be wrong or going wrong. Nothing is going right if everything is going in your favor, no matter what that is. Sometimes it may not look like it is what I'm seeing here. It's not going to look like things are in your favor, but they are in your favor. What does your higher self want you to know? Feel good before it comes. This is gratitude. That's actually what gratitude is. So when you feel good, you feel God, but spirit is saying feel good before it comes. And the only way you can feel good is to know it's coming. And then immediately you feel good and you start to do what? Prepare because you know it's coming. Don't wait anymore. You don't have to wait. I'm hearing that you're, in 2024, you're getting into mega manifester mode, Virgo. Mega manifester mode. So in order to manifest, you must feel good before it comes. If we, if we feel bad, sometimes we feel bad before our blessings comes because we don't think it's gonna come. And that's enough to feel bad. Or it's not gonna come on time. And that's a thought that feels bad. So all of your thoughts and your beliefs make up and your feelings make up your vibration so you you can't really control your vibration you just have to focus on feeling good what else does spirit want you to know about 2024 virgo create the life you wish to experience through imagination this is where your queen of fire is being activated imagination is the pathway between realism reality and the spiritual world if you see it in the spiritual world, it's because you already have it somewhere in another reality. And this is the first time I'm saying this on this Zodiac reading. So this tells me you have tapped into some mega manifester information is what's happening. So everything that you're going to create is going to be through your imagination. You will see in the unknown if you just look within. If it feels good, follow it. Another confirmation here that I'm getting from from your higher self. If it feels good, follow it because if it feels good, it feels like God. So feel good before it comes and feel good. And that's the thing. All of these bad feelings, your biggest thing is to feel good. And if anything doesn't feel good around you, that contributes to you not feeling good must be cleared from your energy. What else is coming and what advice do you have for Virgo? spiritual or religious community you will be joining a like-minded people or friendship and increased spiritual support and that's because you want to know you have an inspiration to want to know more and i see that in 2024 that's exactly what you are manifesting and attracting so if you are here this is your reading for virgo and what you will be manifesting and attracting and what to expect in the year of 2024 in the meantime i'm going to move on to libra Libra, you are up next. That actually might be a message too. 2024, Libra, you are up next is what I'm getting. What is your theme for 2024 if you are a Libra? Thank you. Uncertainty, choose who you will become. Choose who you will become because you are up next. Choose who you will become, Libra. Give me three cards for Libra. One, what will they be experiencing in 2024? Libra. Libra, what will they be experiencing in 2024? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, coming into harmony with something with your business. Okay, and we also have death in reverse. Somehow that got in here. Scorpio energy. And we have Knight of Swords. Two more for Libra. What can they expect? What can they expect? in 2024 you have a lot going on libra okay libra you are up next is what i'm hearing it is your turn you've went through some things in the past you're letting go of some bitterness some heartache some sadness there is no sadness that is necessary to experience in 2024 is what i'm getting 
okay? Ten of Pentacles, the Sun card in your middle. This is prosperity, abundance, partnership. Could be with a person that you're meeting. Could be with a business venture that you are in with the Sun card here. Some of you guys can also be having, um, be having a child. Find out that you're pregnant or find out that you're going to have a child. Um, for those of you who are in that space in 2024, could find out that there that even you have a spiritual child or even that you want children if you aren't someone who knows much about that. And, and the kid is very significant. This child is significant here. There's something about you being in joy, happiness, under the sun, shining, living your best life. You have a lot of extra heightened intuition that you're going to be experiencing in the year of 2024. But the biggest thing is the death in reverse. Let's see why this death is here. Okay, we have page of water. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. I just said that on top of the high priestess. So you are going to have extra heightened psychic abilities and intuition in the year of 2024. And let's see who are you becoming with this high priestess, Libra. Thank you. The portal. <clears throat> You're becoming someone who is intuitive, someone who is sensitive, artistic, and friendly. So this means connecting with the childlike version of you, page of water, what you really want to do, what you really enjoy doing, what really lights you up, what really inspires you with the sun card here. I see there's a lot of joy and happiness coming in. There's family around you is what I'm getting. And you have the portal, adventure, ancestors calling. Are you ready on the card? Like I said, you're up next. That is your theme. But who will you become? Hopefully who you're choosing to be, which is your true authentic identity is what I'm hearing. So you could start to explore many different artistic endeavors in the year of 2024 just to try them out. We have the page of water. So this tells me that this is going to be a start into something or maybe you're just now sharing it with others. Whatever this is, it's allowing you to be very artistic, very creative. You could be a writer also. Um, you could be an artist. Um, definitely a creator in your own way. So you are connected and connecting to a portal in the year of 2024 for the purpose of what? What are they manifesting and attracting in 2024, Libra? Harmony. Harmony with your creations. Harmony with releasing your creations into the world. And we also have 22. Could be harmony with the person. You could be meeting a person. A new person enters your life. So you will be meeting someone new. And whoever this person is, is also artistic and also very sensitive. They could be a water sign. They don't have to be. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Either way, they are very connected to their emotions and their intuition. Whoever this person is, I also see that you're being guided by your higher intuition. And it is very, very strong. Your sacral chakra is very active. Okay, so far we've had two chakras that have aligned with us today, and this is the second one that's come out. So this tells me that your sacral chakra of creativity, this portal is going to be very active in 2024. Two, two, four, all of that is, all of the, even adding up to eight, everything is just perfectly slice down the middle. So with the two, two, this tells me that you're meant to meet a partner who is perfectly you. If you haven't already, you're meant to be one with who you are and who you are in a relationship with and the people around you. So there's a lot of creative energy, a lot of pleasure, a lot of passion, heightened um, creative solutions, ideas are going to be just pouring in in the year of 2024 for you. What else are they attracting? All right, we have blessings. You're attracting blessings and understanding. So a deeper understanding of your abilities that you do have, abilities outside of your intellect. And I just see that everything that it was sad is in the past. 
I see you looking forward towards a new beginning, a brighter beginning. And with the death card here, let's just get some clarity on why that death card is here. One more time. There's something about you ending something. It could be a job or a career, being too frivolous or cautious, good business decision. Yeah, I definitely feel like you could be ending something or res resisting leaving a situation and that is because it is going to be a page of water. And this means that it's going to be a, something that's just taking off or starting. You're not sure how it's going to financially bring you any profit, maybe, is what I'm getting. And so I'm seeing eight of water. Yeah, a desire to move on. I knew that. So the, don't resist moving on. Just find the pocket in which you feel inspired and excited to leave and move towards something. So I see with the death card, you're going to be moving towards something solely, solely based on your intuition here with the high priestess. A desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. And because in your energy field, you feel the shift, that is that shift of, okay, I'm ready to that in within is what changes your reality. That's where the universe starts to change and start moving things around to mold the reality in which you are desiring to experience. That was a lot. So you might be teaching people. You have a very beautiful understanding of these gifts and some of these creative endeavors that you do have and blessings and how to attract them. I believe you have mastered attracting blessings, blessings of people. And in 2024, you're going to see this. You're going to have a more of an understanding. So this uncertainty is in the past. And I see you choosing who you desire to be, which is someone who is happy, someone who is in a high vibration, who chooses to follow their intuition and not the fears of their mind. So you are moving towards something and that shift now tells the universe and signals to the universe to change your reality. So what does, what else is coming in here? We have the high priestess and the sun. Why is the sun here? Happiest card in the deck has come out, not for any other card, but for Libra for 2024. And it came in the upright and you're telling me important psychic insights. That's one, two, three, four. I'd say five with understanding cards of psychic abilities, intuition, and um, supernatural abilities that you do have, telepathy, um, going into your imaginative rim, going into your meditative state, important psychic insights, events behind the scene, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So now we have a major arcana, which is the moon card. And this tells me you are completely the moon, Pisces energy. This is all about intuition. You are completely connecting with your intuitive gift in 2024. You will be more connected than you've ever been and felt with the universe and yourself and your intuition. It's almost like you're in a portal. And so in order for you to go through this, spirit is saying you must release your fears. And I feel this card coming through. Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So because you are also a portal, of receiving channeled messages. It's important that you take time for self-care, take time to go take space out from others. If you have roommates, take time to space out from others, to meditate, um, leave early from some events so you can put yourself first because you know you have to get up early. Like there's just certain things where you have to put yourself first. And I see that it's very essential for you to carry these messages and have these insights. That's why they're coming in. You're very, very close to self. So you're able to hear. Increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive has opened the doorway to abundance and help and opportunities. So you have a lot of help and opportunities that are coming in and you're in blessings, nothing but blessings, people, opportunities that show up doing something that you love, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Look at that past three of swords there. You've healed enough from the past spirit of saying it's time to love again. It's time to be open to love. And it starts with loving yourself, love on yourself so you can get comfortable because whoever you're manifesting, this new person, if you guys are single, regardless, is someone who's going to love you a lot. So you have to be comfortable with that. Spirit wants you to know all because you believe is why this is going to happen. Spirit also wants you to know, Libra, that your creativity flows best when you're having fun. 
So next year is about fun, fun, excitement to keep this energy in a high vibration for you to be able to attract and receive all these creative solutions. I'm hearing channeled ideas will come to you instantly. Channeled solutions will come to you. Anything else from higher self for Libra? Be grateful along the way to raise your vibration. So yeah, being grateful is not for the universe. Like I always say, it's for you. Being grateful means feel good before it arrives. Feel good while it's arriving. Feel good now because that's what feels inspiring. That's what's exciting is that it's arriving. It's, and, and I see that in 2024, you feel it's not as far as you thought it was. This is huge. This is huge. You deserve what you desire in life, no matter how big that may seem. You have a spiritual path that I believe that you are fulfilling in the year of 2024. And you believing is what manifests this for you. So Libra, this is your reading. I believe this was probably one of the best Zodiac readings I've got today. You have a lot of increased support coming your way and blessings. And honestly, it's it's very self-explanatory. You are moving out of sadness and into joy. And all I see for you is joy, tears of joy, happiness, flowing um, effortlessly. Everything is paying off. And so it's an opportunity for you to explore and be adventurous and have fun. And that fun is allowing you to create and your creations will pay off. I'm hearing that very loudly. Your creations will pay off. So something about worrying about the money. You don't have very many cards here about that. So let's see what that's about before we move forward. Seven of fire, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your beliefs wisely. Things are looking up the end of a difficult situation. So what I'm definitely seeing is that there is a payoff, but it's like your fulfillment. Money is like, and you get paid. Like, that's like where money's coming from. It's like, you get to do this and you're having so much fun, you're meeting people and you get to get paid. So it's not from a logical point of, is this the right career for me? It's about feeling where your joy is because when you're in that vibration, you will be the best employer. You will be the most successful because you are naturally aligned with it. So coming out of logic and going into intuition, 2024 for you. All right, moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, what is good? Okay, so before I lose my voice, let's see. <clears throat> that might be significant for you. Okay, speaking up, using your voice, Scorpio. 2024, what is the message for Scorpio? We have all of this purple. What is the message for Scorpio? Falling, the unknown, descent, momentum, and change. You have change, significant change coming your way. But something tells me you're used to this, Scorpio. You are the sign of transformation. But after you discover who you truly are, there's really not much more transformation necessary. So you don't always have to fix things. You don't always have to heal things. And so this is where the change is coming is the unknown is, well, what happens when I don't feel like I always have to change and make things better and fix this and fix that or fix me. You are perfect just the way that you are. This is the change that you have to accept is that there's nothing to fix or change. So let's just see what that's about. 2024 Scorpio, okay? Like I said, I did every Zodiac. You're the second to last and nobody got these cards but you. So let's just see why. Two more cards for Scorpio. Page of Pentacles, last card. All right, we have the Three of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I see that in 2024, you're going to be going towards something that is something you already know. Okay, it's a Knight of Cups, so you already have a little bit of knowledge of this. Now it's just putting the action behind it. Whatever this is, you love to do it. Let's get a clue here, who you're becoming. This Knight of Cups is who you're becoming. Self-reliant. 
You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. So, you are very strong by yourself. It is when you get involved in others that I'm seeing that it becomes um, something that you might have to free yourself from. We have some beliefs here that you have, we have some beliefs in certain things that you are freeing yourself from. You are moving towards with the Knight of Cups. Give me a clue, another clue. You already have some acknowledgement of this. You're moving towards it. And with the Ace of Pentacles, there's going to be a very substantial, tangible offer, an opportunity for you. But it's because you freed yourself from the doubts and the fears. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Magic. I'm not underestimating my own magic anymore. Transformation at the bottom. Power and beginnings. You tend to use your power a lot for others. That is a career. So whether it's advice, whatever you're doing, you're already in a career mode. It's just receiving from it. Now is the time for you to receive for you, it's about you now. A lot of the water signs are choosing themselves in 2024, your own magic. So you're not underestimating your own magic anymore. And what's, once again, you had doubts and fears, whether they came from you or others, that I see was, is, was preventing this. This is actually moving forward in the year of 2024. Knight of Cups, this is something that you love. This is something where you feel it's very magical to do. Even if it's effortless and easy for you, that's because it's meant for you. Let's get another clue on this Knight of Cups. What are they discovering about themselves in 2024 about what they love? They're going towards this and it's paying off. So what is it? It is the Servant Queen. You are worthy of beautiful things, divine, magnetic, and valuable. You are worthy. So you should never be in lack. Ever. You have too much to offer. This is something that you're seeing in 2024. You are also going towards just let me be me, liberation, free spirit, wild and authentic. This is who you are. Stay open to the good and beautiful things, magic mushroom, miracles, fairy energy, and opening up. Okay, so you could get into, you definitely could get into psychedelics or some type of mystery when it comes to it just seems like you really want to know, okay? And, and you're willing to do anything to know more about yourself. And I definitely feel like there's a lot of magic to uncover. And I believe you are, you are an observer of magic. You, and transformation is magic, right? That's magic. You get to see something go from one thing to another. And, and you might love that, but spirit's like, well, let's use that for the good things and not always the transformations that take so much weight, and take so much energy from you is what I'm getting spirit say. So to be more reliant on yourself, self-reliant meaning in the sense of love. Let's see what your higher self wants you to know. I actually want to see what is it that you're attracting in 2024. Because we have all three of these cards in the reverse, which tells me that many different things are going to be changing in your life. Night of air. Yes. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully reveal your options, creative solutions. So you're going to have a lot of different events taking place in your practical realm with the page of pentacles, but you have a new offer to counteract that. So you do have an opportunity or an offer that's going to counteract that. Let's get some clues on what that offer is. What is that offer? Because we have some conflict around it. The conflict is an unwise choice. So you have a lot of choices that you're going to have to make. And it says, learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. So with the nine of air, there's a lot of being in your head and the eight of swords, freeing yourself in your mental space. And allowing solutions to reveal themselves and allowing the truth to reveal themselves, meaning where you belong in your career because I see gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, and paying off debts. So with the Ace of Pentacles, some opportunity is coming. It's going to allow you to pay off debt. 
It's going to allow you more time. So a gift of time is coming because you don't have to put as much time into it. So believing that you can receive without working so hard. Okay, so what else are you attracting? We have the six of water, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, reminiscing on the past. Confirm why this is here. Confirm why this is here. Six of air, things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So things are coming to a closing when it comes to difficult decisions that you've had to make. The decisions will reveal themselves to you in the year of 2024 is what I'm getting. Your higher self is saying these decisions you don't have to make. They're already revealed. They're already there for you. The path has already been merged for you to walk through. You are exactly where you should be, Spirit wants you to know. Successful opportunities are on the horizon and expect a financial breakthrough soon. So I'm definitely feeling like you have a huge transformation coming in your finances, in your resources. You are transforming that. So it's like you have transforming abilities. Now use them for yourself to transform your financial situation, transform your health, transform your body. You have the power. Now use it on you is what I'm getting. Use the power for yourself. And there's a sense of letting go of people feeling or believing that you're going to be selfish by choosing you. What else do you want them to know? So you have a lot of successful opportunities coming. You even have a expect a financial breakthrough soon. So this could even happen before 2024. Create a vision board to manifest all your desires. So right now, what I'm sensing for you, so you have opportunities that are coming just because you made a move. So I definitely feel like before 2024, you could have made or take, took action or discovered what it is that you loved or wanted to go towards. And I see that paying off. There's balancing of the scales happening in your financial situation. I also believe that this is coming from something that's paying off. Spirit is saying you're exactly where you need to be and there could be distractions. Creating a vision board is more so of what clues are here in your dream world. What desires do you have that you, what desires do you wish to obtain? And putting them on your vision board. Your vision board should be more of a physical representation of the dream world you wish to experience here on earth is what I'm hearing. So what is your advice, Scorpio, for 2024? 2024 advice for Scorpio. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly access why you are so busy. Okay, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Once again, your vibration is attracting everything that you desire to have in your life. So you have intelligent ideas that are coming in swiftly in 2024. You have a lot of magic you've been overlooking. And that's why Spirit's saying stay strong in your faith because your positive outcome is dependent on how you feel. And that is the truth. So there's something about embracing you being different, being original. Okay, you're not like anyone else. And I definitely feel like in 2024, you're going to be experiencing the truth of that more than you've ever experienced. So let's see, what is your advice for 2024? One more card for advice for Scorpio. Natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. So there's a deep sense of accepting yourself, it's deep sense of acceptance. So there's a lot of natural beauty. So you just embracing who you are. And part of that is being able to see the magic of how you transform in people's life and why people stay so connected to you. But now it is time for you to do that for yourself. So in 2024, you're going to see your magic come to life. And let's see how before we close. How is the magic for Scorpio coming to life in 2024? What is it that they're attracting? Scorpio. Scorpio, 2024. You don't need it all figured out, the gifted guide that you're being guided. Look at by the mushroom. So there's something about really connecting 
with the truth of the universe. And when you know, you will feel like you are being guided. Okay, you will not believe it, you will know it. And there's a difference in feeling when you know it. Okay, so let's see what you are attracting. You are attracting guidance. Wow, gifted guide and guidance. Concentration, cultivation, okay? Concentration, cultivation, and guidance is what you're attracting. So cultivating your gifts, there's more for you to discover about yourself. This is going to help you concentrate. You won't have to worry about procrastinating when you naturally love it and you have an inspiration for it and there's excitement. This is what's guiding you. Your ancestors are very important also in the next year, 2024. Your ancestors are going to be guiding you. You're going to feel very, very connected. Some of you guys could be channeling messages through music, through songs, through lyrics from your ancestors and your guides. Have fun with this. In 2024, you're going to have fun with being able to be guided by something much greater than yourself. All right. So now you get to actually see it working out. Now you get to actually see your intuition and your own transformation in your life. You're getting ready to see the fruits of your own labor, Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, shout out to you. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and just know that in the unknown, you will be guided through your imagination. So be open to that. Last but not least, Sagittarius. So that's a message right there in its sign. Last but not least, you could have been waiting for a long time for some of these things to finally happen. And I'm sensing that no matter what happens in 2024, it's finally time. So even if things are being changed to align, it's all because it's finally time. That is your theme. Okay, so first I want to see what your overall message is for 2024 if you're Sagittarius. One card, Sagittarius 2024. Thank you. Mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours is to live. Okay, so that's very, very important. Spirit wants you to know now is the time to live your life. And what's crazy is I did all 12 zodiac signs. So... For you, Sagittarius, specifically, sometimes you really want to see the signs. And it's important you know the universe does not have a mouth and does not have a hand, but can communicate with someone like me who does have a mouth and has a hand. And the reason why I'm saying that is because out of all cards, I only have these cards left. And I've shuffled various times for each zodiac, which tells me these are even that much more meant for you. So spirit is saying it doesn't need to have your name on it for you to know it's for you. Okay. You can feel it because it feels good. You have the magician. You have the king of wands. You have the full card, the moon. And look, it's exactly six cards. Coincidence? No, nothing is a coincidence. And you're learning this in the year of 2024. So you can allow less control, less control. There's something that you may be overlooking here with your manifesting powers in the moon card. You have a huge, significant pit stop that I'm sensing in 2024. And spirit is going to be clearing some things out of the way so you can see. All right. So we have the magician here. I want to see why is the magician in reverse? Clarify. Sagittarius 2024. We have the magician in reverse. Why is that? That is because a celebration, a wedding, a graduation, a birth announcement, the need to have more fun. So we have the three of water. So there's going to be some type of significant event that changes you to be, that changes. There's going to be a significant event that changes. It could be a birthday, could be a birthday that changes how you see things. This is actually helping your manifesting abilities. Let's see what those abilities are because once again, it's in the reverse. Why is the magician in the reverse? Sagittarius. Cards are flying. Eternal center. There is a place within me. Still, calm, steady, eternal, eternal center. There's still more for you to learn, and I know, I know you're probably like, oh, more. 
It's more so about yourself. You are a guru, says guru, protection and peace. And until you find this center of place within, with the moon card, it's still being revealed. It's subconscious. Your intuitive abilities are still being revealed. And so if you're wondering where your manifestations are, that's why I said last but not least, okay, spirit, where are the manifestations? We have distractions. You could be focusing on everyone but you. And so I believe that it, a lot of people, a lot of energy have been taking away from your ability to connect with your intuition in yourself and the peace within you. And life is so brief. Spirit is like, you should be inspired. You should be living your life with the king of wands. I see in the year 2024, there are some things you've been wanting to do for so long. You're going to do them. Some of you, it could be a vacation, a travel. The full card is here. You're taking a leap of faith. I also see you have more money, more finances with the queen of pentacles. Once again, no one else got these cards out of this deck except for you. And you are the last to go and there's still enough for you. That says a lot. Queen of pentacles. Okay. She is the most abundant queen out of all four queens and abundant in material things, how she dresses, how she expresses. So even though I gave everyone six plus more cards, you still have enough. So there's always going to be enough for you. Don't worry about if there's enough for you. And that's what spirit is saying. There will be enough. You're releasing the scarcity mindset. Where will, there, where will there be enough? You must know there is enough because of who you are. So spirit is saying, have fun. 2024 is about fun for you. Are you willing to take a leap of faith? Are you willing to take a leap of fun? You're good at this. This should be easy to you, right? Having fun is in your nature. However, there have been some things that have been preventing it from being as easy as it could be. And so let's just clarify what that is here. Why do we have the 10 of wands in reverse? And what are they taking a leap towards? Two of earth is because you have too much going on at once, spirit says. 10 of... Ten of wands is burdening, burdensome. And so feeling free is something that you're going to be experiencing just letting go, just letting go and let your guides just guide you, let your higher self guide you. The full card you're taking and the leap towards your dreams, and it's something passionate with the king of wands here. So it says consider a more playful approach. Yes, fun. I just said that. The need to make a decision. Life is not meant to be hard. Life is brief and it's meant to be fun. You're meant to explore. This is your natural ability as a, as a Sagittarius. So why is the fool card here? What are you taking a leap towards, Sagittarius? Nine of fire, don't give up. Protect that which you created. Have courage and believe in yourself. So you're going to finally believe in yourself and not need anyone around you to believe in you. Okay, you are going to be believing in yourself, trusting in yourself. To know who you are and know what you're capable of doing. Three of fire. You have a lot of threes here. You're expanding. We have abundance. Things looking very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So think beyond what is just in front of you that you keep thinking every day that you want and you desire. Imagine, okay, now that I have this in my energy field, now what do I desire? Where do I desire to go? What do I desire to experience? And continue to let your energy expand. It's a gift you have, you know? Energy is a gift you have, Sagittarius. So I see that you've been waiting for a long time, three of fire, but something is coming in, all right? In the nine of sword, or the nine of fire and the 10 of wands, in the nine of wands, wounded warrior exhaustion, a lot of this is not coming from you. Okay, so we have the magician finally. <laughs> I use this deck in all 12. So this is meant for you. Okay, you keep wondering, is this meant for me? Is it meant for you? I didn't have to save this card and put it on Sagittarius. No, I just said whatever's meant is meant. And look how effortlessly it came out in the upright. It says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. When you think of a magical life, what do you imagine? 
And if it's not aligned with your reality, be willing to allow it to align. But you must spend time with yourself is what I'm getting. 2024, if you want answers and guidance, spend time with yourself. Spend time with yourself, Sagittarius 2024. What are they manifesting? Who are they becoming? The flower child, momentum, creativity, and action. It says, I hope that... I hope that over everyone else, you learn to make yourself underscore proud. This is about you. 2024 is about you. It's finally time to choose you, Sagittarius, okay? I know people are going through a lot and they got this going on and they got that going on, but so do you. It says there is a reason you have, you have those dreams. The mystic, high priestess, visionary, intuition, your dreams have been given to you from the most high, from spirit. We have 10 of fire at the bottom, which is the 10 of wands. It says too much work, accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. But at the bottom, we have happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. It's whatever you choose to focus on. What will they focus on, Sagittarius, in 2024? High Priestess, listen to your intuition, have patience, and consider what you want before acting. Scholar, good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So you will take up a new area in study because you enjoy it. And it's good news about finances. So you could have gotten a scholar, you could get a scholarship for this. You could get a small grant for this. Someone could pay for this, whether it's a class, a course. I'm definitely feeling someone is going to invest in you, but there's something about you investing in you. That's something you have to really, really, because I'm seeing that it's about you. It's about you and your priorities in, in manifesting what you desire. What are they manifesting? Energetic movement, what are they manifesting? Personal transformation. You're going through a transformation in 2024. All right? And I'm also sensing with this personal transformation, it's about making yourself proud. What do you want to do? Focusing on you, pulling your energy back, energetic movement, and things are going to be moving very quickly. So what I'm seeing is that you are coming out of the magician in reverse going into the magician in the upright. You have divine support. You're going to be supported more than you've ever been supported any other year is what I'm getting. Yours, you have divine support from the universe. Let the universe show you is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying 2020, Spirit is saying 2024, let the universe show you. Let the universe show you. What do you want them to know? Sagittarius, you are safe and protected by the most high. You need no reason to be worthy of abundance. You need no reason, not because you worked hard, not because it was passed down, not because you did this. You need no reason to be who you are, which is abundant, expressive. This is who you are naturally. And so you're embracing more of who you truly are. I see you becoming more grounded with the people you choose to invite and let in. Where is your energy going? Where is your energy flowing? Where is your energy going? Another message from higher self regarding 2024 for Sagittarius. Explore the world and feel fulfilled. So there's something about traveling. It's going to be very heavy in, in 2024, but you must allow it to happen in its own flow. Okay, so you're manifesting and you're in a manifesting ability. And I'm just sensing that you're going to see that life is very magical and that you are safe and supported and that you don't have to do it all by yourself and that you do have support and that people do care and that the universe does love you and you are supported unconditionally. And that's why if anything seems to not be working out, it's because the universe knows you desire more. Even if you don't know your worth of what you deserve and desire, the universe does and is always looking out for you. So trust in this and really give in to this guidance that's coming your way. Anything else for the theme? For some reason, they're telling me to pull one more card. Anything else that they can experience? It says your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. You've come very far, very, very far. And the whole purpose of this existence is to be alive. 
and that's a miracle. So don't overlook your blessings. We have nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, elemental mes messengers. So believing in magic is going to be a big theme for you, Sagittarius, in 2024. You have communication coming in. So you're becoming one with self, one with universe. And also there's something important about nature and grounding yourself, getting to know yourself, what brings you the grounding feeling, what makes life feel magical. This is what you're moving towards. So you're in a lot of creative energy and this creativeness, you're so inspired by it, you're in your masculine energy. So it's not something that you're going to wait to do. You're going to take action immediately when that happens with the King of Wands and the Fool card. So I see beautiful things for you, and I hope that this brought you clarity. If you guys are here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now that this is the last zodiac sign, I hope that you know that if you are still here, you're blessed, you're being guided by the most high light. That I hope that you know that you're blessed. Thank you for being with me in this zodiac reading. 2024, to blessings, to harmony, to unity, no matter what it looks like, just know everything is aligning for harmony and unity and love in your life in 2024. I'm out. Love and light to you all. I'll see you in the next. Love and light to you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.